rusty time those years I'm sitting at tears looking for a sign Starting a drive Run across fields of ice bathing in the starlight Be well aware of roads we've gone by Put yesterday's aside with the future head on Now trailblazers keep creeping Even when you have lost your way, you'll go ahead. 
from the rusty time those years can say that a day is looking for a sign started a try run across fields of ice bathing in the starlight be well aware of roads we've gone by huh, yesterday's a sign with the future head on now trailblazers keep creeping
Is that better? Is that too loud? How about now? It's been a while since I streamed. Was, uh, yeah, yeah. Is that better? Louder or no? I can go louder, but I don't know if y'all want to hear me louder. That might be... It's good now? Okay, hang on. Do we need it louder or no? Maybe lower the game audio? Oh, okay. Uh, people always say that my game audio is too... Too, 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 what's it called? Loud. Alright, we'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, hi everybody! Welcome back, M-O-L-L-Y-Y. M-O-L-L-Y-Y! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hear coughing periodically throughout this, uh... The game audio is low now? Oh no. Uh, you're gonna hear coughing throughout this stream. Um, I will try to mute where I can. Otherwise, we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, I have had a persistent cough since I got back from Singapore. But yeah, it's been, it's been, I think, a solid three weeks since I've streamed last. I'm back. I've been feeling a bit weird since I'm back. Um, I feel like it's a combination of post-con depression and also seasonal depression because I'm just- Oh! <laughs> it's so funny that y'all mentioned the PNG because <laughs> I have a surprise for y'all. Um, hold up. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, where'd, where'd it go? Hang on, I lost it. Hello, welcome to my stream. I, I I I've added a new asset. Do we like it? Do we like it? <laughs> the the mouth movements are a little bit <laughs> wacky, but hang on, does it move? Does it move when I move? Hang on, I've never done any live two D thing. Hang on, is it moving? Where's the Where's the preview? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I, I've never done any kind of... Spy? What is this called? Is this VTubing? I don't know if this is VTubing, but hang on. It's like hunched over. Did I break it? I don't know how to set this up. I watched a three minute YouTube video and this is what I came up with. Did y'all hear that cough? Did y'all hear that? I muted, but I just want to make sure I have the right button when I click mute. Did anybody hear the coughing? No, right? No? Yeah? No. Okay, great. We, f we, 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 we figure out the mute button. Um, I, I, I Usually there's a PNG here, but I just think for my sake, we, we're going to use the fish. Exactly! Oh! The fish is because my username in the that? internet sphere prior to going professional was fishy fried. And then so I just thought it was symbolic that I use fishy fried now, you know? It's not the most expressive model in the world, but I mean, it's not like the Zilla picture was gonna do anything, you know? But yeah. Yeah, wait, I, I really just thought it would flop a little bit if I moved my head around. But it looks like it's got some lip wiggles and then some blinking, which I'm not gonna do constantly because that's really annoying. Well, now, now I gotta do it a few times just to God. show. Okay. You should have the one facing the front. Well, whatever. This is our this is our first foray into into VTubing. Alejandro would be so proud. Um, but yeah. Wanna Let me scroll down. Oh my god! Thank you everybody for the subs. I like how. <laughs> Thank you all my mods for the subs. <laughs> Thank you, Cheatsy. 
a beefy little- I feel like this cough is just gonna be here for a long time. I really don't know what I'm gonna do about it. You could also rotate it. Do we really want to see it rotated? I think it's got a nice little- little- little stick- vertical- hor hor vertical orientation going on. Yeah, Lexi, thank you. Everybody, thank you for the score. I thought you said you weren't gonna spend any money anymore. Oh no. Well, thank you, Koi. Appreciate it all the time. But um, what was I gonna say? <coughs> oh shit, I forgot to mute. Um, what was I gonna say? Put a wig. Okay, y'all, y'all are expecting a lot out of me here. Uh, I barely figured out how to set this one up. I, uh, there was a brief moment where I thought about VTubing because I didn't want to go on cam. Um, but I, I was looking into VTubers and I don't know, y'all know how Alejandro does, um, he's got what, Kagi, oh no, he doesn't have Kagi films anymore. But he's got his VTuber account, then he's got his VA account, it's just a lot. I, I don't know if I want to do all those accounts, I'd rather just have everything. Want to spar? Content creation is cool. Put it that way but i my priority is always to do it if it helps voice acting so for me i yeah i don't know wait wait we'll we'll see i do like this though it's very fun um there's somebody who makes those chibi hsr <laughs> models uh the ones that are modeled after the live stream i think i'm gonna try to commission one of those whenever i have a chance but yeah, but it's also like kind of cringe to have VTubing associated with my professional account. I don't want older casting directors who don't know anything about this kind of creation sphere be like, what the hell? Why is she an anime girl? It's, it's, it's that my, unless I become a fish. I just go full out fish model. And to make it more expressive, I just have human lips on the fish. We could do that. That could work. Wanna spar? Who knows? Who knows? Dog Master, thank you for the resub. Six months. Good god. What? Did I meet you at Gamescom? Which one were you? Did you did you tell me who you were? I feel like you I don't remember. There's a couple people now. I can't remember. Did you tell me? Let me know. Let me know. Which one were you? I don't know. Actually, don't dox yourself, but you know. But yeah, I know um Emily streamed like 20 times that? since since the the last time I did and she probably already told you guys all about the Singapore stories but we're probably gonna talk about it some more <laughs> because I really had a good time in Singapore oh Mag thank you for gifting Enthropy welcome Enthropy I'm I'm a fish now go do you like it is it beautiful nah no one's gonna join in tonight My throat is still kind of crusty, and then uh, we got a lot to do. Cause I haven't really done anything with Star Rail in a really long time. I haven't even started the event yet. I also haven't done... What else have I not done? I haven't done shit. Um, sorry, let me... Okay, if there's any brief periods huh? of silence, so once more, remember that I, I am coughing. God, I'm so behind on everything, y'all. You know that Pokemon event? I haven't even done it yet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nuwagu, thank you for the resub. You feel bonita? I mean, feel more bonita than last week. Oh, shit, yeah, this patch is almost over. I hope y'all pulled for Zilla. I really wanted to go on more streams and watch people pull for Zilla, but... Mm. What would happen if I pulled her? If I already have E6, what happens if I pull her? Hmm. Well, whatever. Pokemon event ends in a few days. Yeah, I know, and I haven't started! I might just have to take what I can get. It's kind of hard at this point. That is. We haven't pulled for Topaz yet. Oh, shit. I do need to pull for Topaz, so we got a lot to do today. Who's the next patch? Argenti and Huahua. I know there's a Huahua. Take a look at my top tier, Zila. Okay. I think I already have you on my friends list, Koi. Oh god, hang on. 12k. I could be more. 
Oh, right. So when I went to Singapore, they gave us a bunch of codes for the event. <coughs> and um, we have a bunch of limited edition items, I think. What is this? Let Pom Pom cook. Okay, hang on. Is this the... Ah, the phone wall plate. Oh, that's really... <gasps> that's really cute. That's really, really cute. Oh, that's really bright, though. Jesus. This hurts my eyeballs. This is the other thing. Ah, we can make KFC now. Pom Pom's fried fowl. Did you get the triple sausage? Yeah, oh! How many people here met me at Singapore? I'm so curious now. I had such a good time at Singapore. I really feel like I've had some real bad post-con depression ever since I left because I had so much fun. There, it, Singapore was such a culture shock, y'all. Like, the, it's probably the cleanest country I've ever been to. It was really insane. Um, and there's a huge push for being environmentally friendly. There, um, was like a- oh wait, hang on, before I even go on, someone re Koi redeemed the thing. So that I don't forget. Then we'll talk about Singapore. Um, Koi, where are you? Can we search friends list yet? No, we can't. Ah! Oh, that's so cute, Koi! Alright, let's take a look-see. 80. I watched you pull. Ooh, look at that crit rate. Oh, you got the S5 light cone too? Oh, wait, I think I still- I watched that too. I don't know why I even mentioned that. Max trait. Oh, I think this is a perfect Zila. Oh, wait, we can't click the stats. Let me see your stats here. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Ooh. That's nasty. I think your Zila is more busted than mine. God damn. What's the speed? God damn. 115 plus 15. What is mine? 115 plus 15. What's my speed? Oh my god. I think you dethroned me. I think yours is, yours is more busted. Yeah, shit. Yours got a bunch of better stats than mine. Sheesh! Oh, damn. Wanna spar? Wow, must be nice. Must be nice! Need a free dead sad. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Is Koi VIP yet? How do we VIP? Is it slash VIP? Can I just do that? I don't know how to do this. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Go. I'll do this later. I don't remember how to do it right now. Um, oh, do I pull for Topaz or no? What do I do? I don't... Do I pull for Topaz? Her banner's ending soon. Maybe I should pull for Topaz. Hmm. Let's try her out. <gasps> Gwei Nifun is here too! Ugh. Uh, too much money. Uh, Bird without wings. Thank you for the resub. Five months. Welcome back from Singapore. Great to see you again, even if it's in fish form. Yeah, we're just we're just testing out the VTube fish. Just to just to see what it's like. No, but yeah. I'm just saying. We'll we'll talk about Singapore. It was it. <laughs> It was so much fun. I really would like to go back as soon as I can. If voice acting wasn't so location based, I think I definitely would not stay in America. <laughs> Denial, thank you for the resub. Five months. Um, but yeah. Uh 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 super clean country. Did you know that you can't chew gum in Singapore? I also did not know that. Well, I didn't even wait for y'all to respond, but I didn't know that um, they didn't chew gum. Or like, it, I, I don't know if it's illegal or if it's just it's punishable by some degree of 
something. I just remember Celine telling us that we cannot chew gum, which to me isn't really a big deal because I don't really chew gum to begin with, but I think it's just to keep the, the streets clean. And if it works, it works, but um, definitely the cleanest country I've seen, so I would say it works. You also can't eat or drink on public transport, so taxis and buses and stuff. That was also very interesting because I was thinking to eat breakfast on the taxi to the airport, but then they were like, nope, you can't do that. <laughs> and it makes sense. Yeah, anything to anything keeping the country clean, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, anywhere you had to walk was pretty rough because it's so hot there. Craig Lee Thomas, the voice actor for Lotra and I were um we 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 did we were hashtag sweat gang because we just sweat constantly all the time. It was disgusting. Um, we're just not used to the humidity. And Emily and Suling are, are... I don't know how Emily does it. She had a mask on. She had long pants on. She had a sweatshirt. She was... N I don't know if she was sweating. I don't know if she sweats anymore. I, I'm convinced Emily's not human. Because I was wearing shorts and, and a t-shirt. And I was sweating my ass off. And it, it just sucked. But Emily, Emily was fine. <laughs> But um, we had to walk to the convention center, which was only across the street. But because it, w it was considered jaywalking to go across the street, we had to walk around the building uh, through a mall. Everything in Singapore seems to be connected to um, each other by malls. So if you want to cross the street, go through a mall. If you want to go to the cafe, go, to go through the mall and walk there. If you want to do anything, it seems like everything was through the mall. Hang on. I'm going to accidentally forget to click mute when I cough, and it's going to go straight into the mic, like, <laughs> and y'all are going to hear it all over your ears, and it's going to be the opposite of whatever ASMR is called. Yeah, um, everything was connected through malls, and I think because everything is connected that way, they have to keep the malls open at night so people can walk everywhere. And uh, the stores? I want to say 80% of the stores were not locked up they they're just there because there was this after school kindergarten area and we could just like walk in because we were like we were joking like emily go in there <laughs> and um it was insane i america can never can you imagine america not locking up their stores oh geez now i'm, I'm burping i'm i'm switching between coughing and burping no this cough isn't the same cough as the, 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 the cover, the watch party video, which, by the way, I have a VOD channel up, so that Interstellar Journey watch party VOD will be up eventually. I'm going in chronological order, and we've got, like, 50 VODs to upload, but it is there. Um, I will drop a link in on my Twitch profile eventually. <laughs> it's in Discord. It's just Malo Zane VODs. That's all it is. <coughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, the malls were a lot of fun. We had a lot of food. Saturday, Sunday. Wait, hang on. If I'm gonna chat, I'm gonna pause at this screen. We gotta, we gotta advertise ourselves, you know. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no, I, I had the cough after I came back to America. Uh, I got sick like the day I landed, and that was really well. Actually, maybe the day after I landed, because my first day I was fine. Um, no, during Singapore I wasn't sick at all. It was fantastic. I can't believe you've done I had a this. Great time. It was magnificent. Um, but we had a lot of food. The, f the the night we landed, I thought I was- Oh! Oh, wait! Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Um... What was that? Is my alert still broken? Hang on. I haven't streamed in so long that everything has logged me out. I thought I saved everything. Password wise. Well, Molly, how are you? Have you checked out your interview? Oh, okay. I'll check it out. I don't even remember anymore because I haven't been on social media that often lately. Um, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say all better. We're getting there, but the sessions are pretty rough. Four weeks is wild. Nah, it, it actually was a pretty solid two weeks where I just kind of lied in bed all day because I wasn't feeling super great. Bye, Cheatsy. 
Thank you, Ultimate Fails, for the resub. Five months. God damn, we've been streaming forever now. Oh, I keep getting distracted. Where was it? Okay. When we flew to Singapore, Emily and I met up at San Francisco, and then we flew from San Francisco to Singapore together. I went from Dallas to San Francisco, and um, once we met up, we we sat each next to each other on the plane, and maybe five hours or so into the flight, I went to the restroom. Oh, yeah, Molly. Oh yeah, Molly. Oh, shit, I heard I from Emily's see. story of Gamescom, and she mentioned you both were at the SFO airport. And I'm like, wait, I think oh. those two I just saw in the airport are actually wait, Emily really? and Molly. <laughs> I should have say hi did to you them. Really? Monic Omega lol see why you've it not no like this. No freaking way! Maggie, did you see us at the airport? What, what were, why were you at the SFO airport? Oh my god, that's so funny. You should have come up to say hi. We weren't even at the airport for very long, either. It was only for a few minutes. Hydrate. No, but we, um, on the plane, maybe five hours into the flight, um, my stomach was hurting, and I was getting really sick. So I went to the restroom, and I threw up. It was disgusting. Um, like, this was the... Should I put a trigger warning? I think it's too late now. But I, it was, just, it was nasty. It was all over the floor. It was all over the sink. It was on my shoes. It was on my pants. It was the worst experience ever. Um, and I had to call a flight attendant over to let them know, hey, I threw up in the bathroom. And <laughs> the flight attendant who came, we remembered him because he was really cute and he had earrings on. Uh, and he was, he felt really bad and he was trying to make me feel better and saying like, oh, it's okay. Uh, uh, um, it's normal on long flights to, you know, have some sickness and, uh, whatnot. And so I went back to my seat and single-handedly, I shut down that toilet for the rest of the flight. So there was only four toilets in the back half of the plane. And there, after, after what I did, there was only three. Like, I caused some damage right there. And he was, the, so the flight attendant was so nice. He was so kind. He came over, he brought me a bunch of wipes, um, a bunch of towels, a bunch of water to, like, wash off what I had done to myself. Um, because uh, I, I, I feel so bad for Emily because I, I stunk. It was nasty. Um, and I'm used to, because I work as a nurse, I'm used to, I'm used to dealing with other people's issues, but I've never had to, like, have a flight attendant have to deal with mine and i was like asking emily do i tip him what do i how do i thank him for this i, I don't really know what to do <clears throat> but yeah y'all joke whenever i do my streamly signings that i i cough and sneeze and spit on your posters but truly i think i'm a biohazard i i, I did create quite quite a few problems but do you know what the funniest part oh yeah okay. when we were getting off the plane he was like oh i hope you feel better um um see you later like have a good trip he was just saying bye and as fate would have it, on my flight back to Singapore, or wait, on my flight back to America. I was trying to see my friend who visiting SF from Japan. And I was waiting for my friend to be done in the bathroom. I roamed around saw you too. Oh, but my wow. friend was done with the toilet. And oh, we both wow. gone. So what are the chances? That's L -U -L. pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Yeah, no, what what are the chances, truly? You should have come in to say hi, Mag. We had some prints on us too. We had a given Oh no we don't. It was we we shipped it over. Um or we we checked it in, not shipped it over, which technically is checking it in. Um, but um as fate would have it, on my cause Emily went back two days before I did. On my way back to the uh oh, my way back to the airport. On my way back to Dallas. Uh, my flight from Singapore to San Francisco, I got on the plane, I sat down, I had the whole road to myself, it was going to be a good time, I was determined not to throw up, and do you know who I saw on the plane? I will give you a moment to guess who I saw on the plane. There's a chat delay, but we'll wait. We'll wait together in awkward silence as I see people's text responses. Because <laughs> I, I truly need y'all to guess who I saw on this plane. It was, um, Alejandro! No! What? <laughs> Why would I see Alejandro on the plane? Okay, maybe no one's gonna guess. <clears throat> oh, someone did guess! 
I saw the same flight attendant who had to clean up my vomit. And he didn't recognize me at first. I recognized him, though, because he, he was the cute guy with the mask and the earrings. And as he made eye contact with me, maybe an hour into the flight, he's like, oh, 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 are you are you the are you feeling better? And then I was like, yeah, hi. Um, Are you ready for round two? And <laughs> it was a really fun flight because he was stuck with me again. But luckily, we didn't throw up this time. We made it through. It was all good. We didn't shut down an entire toilet this time. <laughs> and I really thought when he saw me, <laughs> he was going to be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's her. She's back. But no, he was really polite. He was really nice. Um, he came by frequently to ask if I needed water and stuff. And that was always really funny. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that was my flight. I had the whole road to myself, but I couldn't sleep because I was super jet lagged. Yeah. Emily, let me scroll up. I didn't see what people wrote. Uh, one said something about Emily's taxi thing. I heard from Emily's story of Gamescom. This is my plea to have Koi made VIP. I will after the stream. I don't remember how to do it right now. I told you I would do it after. I'm like, wait, I think those two just saw their car, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Wait, I thought someone, did I miss one of the alerts? Let's see, I was trying to say blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think someone mentioned the taxi thing, but what had happened was um, when we were taking the taxi from the airport to the hotel, the taxi driver dropped us off at the wrong, because... You know how in America we have the Hilton, 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 or is it called something else? Hilton. I think they're just called Hilton. I can't remember. But um, in Singapore, they have the Marina Bay something. So we were at the Marina Bay Park Royal and he took us to a different Marina Bay. And so we paid him for taking us to the first Marina Bay and then like, halfway me because i i'm dumb as shit i got off the car thinking this is the right place and emily's like wait i don't think this is the the right hotel and so uh we went back into the car and we drove to the right hotel and then we paid him again so we paid him twice and i at some point put my phone somewhere and i didn't know where i put it so once we got off to the lobby and we were getting our cards to check in i i was like emily oh my god i lost my phone i left my phone and and in, in, in the taxi there i'm never gonna get it back again <laughs> and I was laughing it off, but I think Emily was freaking out more than I was. It was really funny. Uh, but then I, <laughs> she called my phone on, oh, I think she called my phone on Discord. And then it was in my backpack. So that was really funny. Yeah, I know. God damn. Let me tell the story too. Gosh. Let me have my moment. Gosh, damn. I get it. Y'all watch your stream. Sheesh. Let me cook. Hang on, I need to put a cough drop in. Oh god, these cough drops are so gross. I- if anybody's been watching Shangri-La Frontier- Wait, has anybody been watching Shangri-La Frontier? Please tell me y'all have watched Shangri-La- Someone please tell me you've been watching that. I voiced the cocaine rabbit in there, and her pitch is super high and squealy and gross and awful. And so it's been really ruining my- my throat, but- well, it hasn't- it doesn't hurt to do her voice. It's just I can't get up there with my current, like, scratchiness. Oh, it's one of the anime- animes of this season. This season, I am in Shangri-La Frontier as Emil. Which I'm really excited for, because I- 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 I didn't know what kind of character she was gonna be, and now I like her a lot more. Um, she's got, uh... What's it called? She's got a plushie and a figure because uh, she has two forms and they've decided to really capitalize on that marketing and give her two separate chains of merchandise, which is really funny. Yeah, that's me. I think she's so cute. But the problem is, in the English dub at least, um, she speaks so fast and screeches so much later on that th the diction is a little bit indecipherable at a certain point but um yeah i voiced emil and then 
my other show this season is Apothecary Diaries, which I was really excited about. I voice Gil Kiel. Oh god, I got to cough. <coughs> I have to uh, cough periodically again for anybody coming in late. Sorry in advance. Um, Daniel, hello, Daniel. It's been a while. Thanks. For oh yeah, time. I wanna say, congrats on the role in the series, oh, The Apothecary. D a r e s. Thank you, Mag. Thank you. Yeah. So my that's my other show. I voice Gil Kiel in Apothecary Diaries, and um. Yeah, I really like that show so far. Surprisingly, I've been liking Shangri-La Frontier a lot as well. But um, they're both really good shows. Um, other shows this season that I'm really excited to watch that I haven't done so yet. Have an official's blessing, of course, of course. And um, what else is there? That might be it. Oh, Spy Family. How did I forget Spy Family? Oh, wait, who doesn't like Spy Family? Oh, Freerun! I forgot about Freerun! That's such a good one. Oh my god. That's such a good anime. I watched that um the week before or the weekend before I went to Singapore. I watched that with a couple of friends, um, the first few episodes, and it's I, I more more anime should do that, where they circle around the topics of um what's it called? I guess the the post journey experience rather than the hero's journey building up to that point is um they, they've set up a really ideal situation for a character that has lived a long life and has had experiences but hasn't really developed from those experiences so i think everyone's really great i i've only watched the first three i need to watch the rest uh but it was really good i liked it a lot um the dub cast for that is really awesome jill is Jill Harris voices the purple hair girl whose name I forgot. Uh oh. What was her name? I can't remember her name. But she's really cute. That's all I remember. She's just really cute. Yeah, the animation's also really nice. Yeah, um, so uh, if I if y'all don't mind, my anime recommendations for this uh season are one, Shangri La Frontier. It's an Isekai. Oh, well, it's not really an Isekai. It's kinda like sword art. I think I I would like to compare it as sword art with less stakes. It's not like life or death, and if you die in the game, you die in real life. It's just like a dude. Uh, he's in the dub. He's voiced by the voice actor for Sanji in One Piece, Eric Vale. Um, and I think he's like the only character that has a lot of dialogue. Everybody else is just kind of chilling. Um, uh, but yeah, that one is really good. I voiced the rabbit in that one. Uh, she's really fun. And then uh, Apothecary Diaries, which. It's just a good show. It's just a good show. Uh, the dub team for that one is also really goaded. Yeah, and then um, personal personal favorites outside of the ones that I'm not in. Have an official's blessing, free run. I do really like Spy Family, though. That's just one that never misses for me. Truly a league of its own. Casual sort out online, yeah. But, um... How did I get distracted from talking about Singapore again? God damn. Did Emily tell y'all about the Honkai Star Rail Cafe experience out of curiosity? I I'm just slightly curious if 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 any of that was mentioned. Uh because I don't want to repeat too much if she has. <laughs> did she mention a certain person at that cafe experience? Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to see what she's exposed uh, she, she's exposed me of already before I wrap myself out does she drop any names maybe I shouldn't be doxing people actually maybe we'll do it and we'll just not say the name I'm just hang on I need to see who did oh the handler is shit y'all know <laughs> no not the flight attendant <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me laugh because I'll cough. She said you wanted to take him. What the hell, Emily? She wanted to take him everywhere too. It wasn't just me. Um. Yeah. So, uh, there was his handler. Uh, we really liked him. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah. No, no. Chronologically, Thursday. Thursday. What's it called? Thursday. Thursday night is when we landed. We got the hotel. Suling met with us. She said you specific- What the fuck, Emily? It was all of us! She was the one that was like, Oh, did you guys invite him to dinner? Did you guys invite him to dinner? 
And I was like, no, I don't have his number. But then I did have his number and I just forgot. Um, Thursday night, we flew in. Uh, we met up with Suling. Suling's husband, super fucking cool dude. He is a martial artist, really cool dude. Um, Suling is like a huge celebrity in Malaysia. I had no idea because I didn't realize. Actually, I kind of did realize. Never mind. Um, yeah, we had a uh, satay, delicious. And I really thought Friday I was just gonna knock out the whole day because we were so tired from that flight, and I was so sick. I think the airplane flu is what got me sick because I had some really gross chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking extremely fishy. Um, yeah, and um, Friday we did a bunch of interviews uh, with uh, various uh, outlets, uh, gamer braves, like uh, someone in here mentioned earlier. And then um, I can't remember the name of the other one, but it's a podcast. And they were really cool. We had a lot of fun. And we had a handler for Gamescom, and he was great too. He wasn't bad by any means. Um, it's just that we had a handler at, um, at the, so we, we, we were flown in for Gamescom. That was what we were, we were, that's our priority because that's who flew us in. But at the same time we were in Singapore, there just happened by coincidence to be a crossover event between Keith Cafe and Hong Kai Star Rail. So while we were in Singapore, it was like, oh, might as well, this is like a really good timing situation. And so they brought us in, and um, this was Saturday. This was Saturday. So Suling and Craig had their meet and greet on Saturday, and so everybody was dressed up really nice to go into the meet and greet, except for me and Emily, because we didn't have any room to go after the Star Rail event. And we, um, uh, bright and early, oh, we, we had the hotel covered. Okay, the con who got us the hotel also covered breakfast for us. So we were picking out for breakfast every day. That five-star hotel breakfast, <coughs> it, can, it cannot be underestimated. It's fantastic. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm still coughing. Y'all are going to deal with this gross cough. Um, but great breakfast. And the handler had texted us. Well, he texted Suling because Suling's agent is the one who got this event for us. And he texted us saying, hey, we're here. And we weren't supposed to meet till 1030. And he was here at like 1015 or something like that. And so like... Me and Emily woke up at 10, so we had just gotten downstairs to eat, and so we we're like, well, we're not going to be ready by 10.15, and um, uh, we, we, we still tried to rush, and then we met him in the hallway, he was, he was here super early, he was ready to take us uh, to the cafe uh, immediately whenever we were ready, he didn't rush us, he was really polite, um, he was the kind of person that, uh, Commander Wilkins! <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Uh, welcome, Commander Wilkins. Thank you for the resub. Please tell me it's a chaos stream because oh, I won't. I won't go full chaos because I'm still kind of sick. But we'll try to. We'll try to meet your expectations, my good sir. Uh, but yeah, we met the handler, uh, and the funniest thing was we thought we were gonna walk to the cafe because it was really close by. Uh, but he got us. He got us a. Uh, what are they called in Singapore? Grab? I think he got us. He got us a car. I think they're called Grab in Singapore. It's just the equivalent of an Uber. He called the car for us, and because I was in the front seat, I could hear the driver go. Uh, and the driver asked him, "Where y'all going?" And he said, "Oh, Keith Cafe." And the driver's like, "What? That's right there." And something along the lines of like, "It's right there. Just walk." But he's like, "Oh, VIP, VIP." And I was like, "Oh, this handler is like really treating us well. He paid for our car." Um. He, even though it was a walkable distance. And thank fuck we didn't walk. I, if anybody missed me talking about earlier, Singapore was hot as shit. I was dying everywhere I walked. It was disgusting. Love the country. Cleanest country ever. But I sweat everywhere I go. I'm not used to that level of humidity. It wasn't so much the heat as it was the humidity. And so we got, um, we got, we got, we got the car to the cafe and the drive was like two minutes, if even. Is walking distance like maybe like five to ten minutes of a walk i want to say it wasn't that bad um but we 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 drove there and i was still sweating i was because in texas it's so hot here but it's a dry heat and everywhere is air conditioned 
to I don't know, like it's like seventy degrees in, 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 indoors. Like at Crunchyroll, sometimes the boots are sixty. It was just really I'm I'm used to a different life. And so when I walked into um what's it called? When I walked into uh the the mall where the so the cafe is inside a mall. <clears throat> and we went in and I was still sweating. And I we announced our uh participation in the event maybe the day before the event. So people did not have much time to to be there. Let me can let me catch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one we didn't want to walk. Are you cosplaying as Kiana in your model? No. No, 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 no. Maybe I should though. Tables! Tables, did I not? Oh my god, tables! I there was a couple of people who came to my signing and they said that they knew you. They said that they met they they, they knew me from your animation and that they're friends with you. They were dressed up with as the payday people and they had guns. That's just we'll get to that story. We'll get to that story. Hang on. We're we're gonna go sequentially down the line. Good night, Koi! I hope you um, have a good rest and don't wake up in the middle of it because I accidentally disconnect from stream. But yeah, no. Um, uh, oh, okay, wait. We're going to go chronologically. We're going to go chronologically. We went to the cafe and uh, this handler, whom we will not name drop just in case, we're going to protect his privacy just a little bit because goddamn, we were in love with this man. Um, uh, uh, we'll call him... We'll call him. What, what? What's a good code name for him? I don't want to accidentally drop his name. I don't think he'd mind, but I just don't want to risk it. Um, we'll call him. We'll call him glasses because he wore glasses. Mr. Man. Let's call him Mr. Man. <coughs> Why am I a fish? Um, I just thought I'd change it up today. You know, I'm kind of sick, and I don't want to cough too much. If I cough, I want y'all to see a fish bob. There we go. Um. We'll call him Mr. Handler. We'll just call him Mr. Handler so everyone knows who we're talking about. Um, so Mr. Handler was super prepared. This event, he did not have much time to set everything up, get everything going. And um, he had everything just set, ready to go. We only have one hour for meet and greet, one hour of pictures. And uh, he had like cosplayers there. Uh, there I think it's because they, they have like a cos... So when I first went, I thought he was part i thought he was a worker at the cafe but i'm i i understand now that in singapore and i think most asian countries they really only want the cosplayers for these cons and events not really the voice actor and so that's why there's a lot of agencies that have cosplayers um and so for this event uh they brought a bunch of cosplayers and i think he works for the cosplay agency rather than the cafe but while we were at the um he like did a little tour of the event um, we got set up for the meet and greet and where we took pictures for an hour and there was a little standee of Imbibiter Lune. Sorry, I had to burp. <coughs> Burping, coughing, sneezing. What a day. Uh, we had a, there was a standee of, uh, Imbibiter Lune and it was really funny because you would think people were here to take pictures with the voice actors that traveled all the way from America and probably aren't going to come back here for a really long time, but no. Who actually ended up taking pictures with the- they, they actually wanted to take pictures with the Daohan standee, which I thought was hilarious because this is a cardboard man. They really should have invited the voice actor for Daohan to come instead. It was really funny. Um, but we did- we took pictures for an hour and then they set us up for free food for a whole hour. They, um, Mr. Handler brought us the menu and he asked us what we wanted and because we were taking a while to kind of figure out what we were- ordering he just said if you guys want we'll just give you one of everything so i was like oh you're so good to us um and he gave us one of every single item and he didn't just give us one he gave us multiples of every single item there's no way we're gonna finish um but the food was really cool uh it was all food i think it was food from the game i i i want to say wait where's the food in the game Okay, so there was definitely cosmic fried rice. There was this milk. This, oh my god, I'm so glad we have this stream on so I can show you exactly what we had. Um, the fried rice was literally just fried rice. There wasn't so much big difference. Oh, they had this too. This was really good. They had a strawberry one of this. It was really delicious. And then they had this thing. I think the one that they had for at the cafe was tomatoes. Um, it was just basically tangkulu. Do you guys know what tangkulu is? It's like that Chinese sugary thing. 
That was pretty good too. And then they had this. <clears throat> and this was delicious. At first I didn't really like it because I don't really like um, straight up milk, but this is cereal milk. And you know the milk after you've had sugary cereal? That's what this tasted like. I really liked it. And then they had this. This was, it's called bread soda, but it was just apple soda. It was really good too. Um, and then we also had, I don't remember. Oh, I think there was chicken. At some point there's probably chicken. Oh, we had this as well. It was like three slices of fish. And I didn't really like fish, but I really liked what they had. It was really good. Um, did we have this? I can't remember. Um, there was a purple drink that we had, but I don't see it in my menu. Did they have food that wasn't on here? Or maybe I don't have all the food? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. There was like this purple taro drink thing that was really good. This, yeah, the star taro boba. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 check the, yeah, I'll check the recipe menu. I, I should have cross-checked while I was at the event, but I was too busy eating. But no, it was fantastic. We had a really good time there. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go back to the screen. Put Zilla up. If anybody comes in, we're definitely playing the game. We're just advertising for, for Zilla. Oh, Arm Alley, is that where it's from? <coughs> but that was amazing. Um, we had really good food. He gave us one of everything, and then we got extras on the drinks because we all really liked the drinks. And then they they sell official. Oh, they gave us freebies for everything. So all the codes. Um, you know that little thing I was talking to y'all about with the the phone case, and then also the custom KFC or the the custom what's it called? Uh, uh the 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 Star Rail equivalent of the KFC recipe. Uh, we got codes for that too, and. Then, <laughs> Mr. Handler gave me two codes, so I get to have one, and then I, I'm I'm gonna give Howard one too, and I just think it's such a nice little gift because it's uh exclusive to the Singapore event. Well, actually, no, I guess any cafe event will have it, but for me, it was an exclusive item from Singapore, and it was really cool. And uh, what else did he give us? He gives a bunch of free shit. I really like Mr. Handler. He took care of us. Um. And he's like the kind of person where whenever he whenever you hand him something, he like has both hands out to receive it, that kind of politeness. Just a very formal dude. Um, he talked very politely, just really good mannerisms. We had a really good time. Uh, and at the event, they also sold official merchandise. So if you are American, you know it's not the easiest to buy Hoyaverse official merchandise. I have a Zila Sandy that I bring to cons with me that I bought off Amazon. And when I was in Singapore, while I was at the event, Mr. Handler got me the the official Zila Sandy. And now that I'm home and I'm comparing the two sizes, it is a little bit ridiculous how different they are in terms of quality, in terms of uh, the size of the build, um, in terms of the just the the clarity of the image. Pretty insane. Uh, I also got a badge, I got a light cone thingy, another sandy, I got all the Zila stuff that I could get. And that was the, pretty much the, um, the cafe. We had a good time. And then we went around signing everything. We signed a little poster. <coughs> and because Dan Hun was like the main character on the event, his face was everywhere. And I was getting really annoyed because like, damn, why is he the poster child? So every time I saw Da Hun's face on something, I would draw on him. So I would draw like little horns and a mustache on his face every time I got to sign something. And uh, around the cafe, they had giant... Uh, I don't want to say they had giant walls. They had posters of the event plastered on the walls. And so I drew on the walls and I drew a mustache on him on the wall too. And then my signature was too big, and so it accidentally crossed over his face. And I, I think the fangirls would be really upset to see that I drew on his face. But whatever, too late now. I'm already in America. What are they going to do? And then um, they had a wall with Zila's Lycone art, and I got to autograph that as well. So it was really cool. Uh, it was really funny because when I walked in, uh, they gave us a specific table for the voice actors. And I was like, no, no, I don't want that table. That's next to Dalhan. I want the table next to Zila. And I told the handler, kick out the customers. I want to sit in that one. And he was like, uh, okay. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was just kidding. I was kidding. Don't do it. But it was really funny that he even said that he would. Might skip the 1.5 banners. 
Oh, nice. Um, what else was there? Oh, okay, so there was another raffle event. Hang on. Uh, where if you bought, I think, I, I don't know if it's if you, I don't know how much money you have to spend on it. But if you bring them your receipt, you can do like a gotcha lottery box thing. And if you get the gold ball, it's like a bunch of balls underneath. If you get the golden ball, then you win the, um, what do you win? I think you win, I got it for free, so I can't remember what we won. I think it's like a special event exclusive pom-pom badge. And I lost all three passes, but Emily wanted to win and take pictures. I think that's what happened because I turned around and Mr. Handler was in there looking for the right ball and setting it up for her just so that Emily could grab the right one. And so when Emily grabbed it, I was like, what the hell, Emily? There's no way you're that lucky. And then she was like, oh no, Mr. Handler set it up for me. And I was like, what the hell, you cheater ass cheater? And it was really funny. And he's like, if you want, I can do it for you too. And I was like, no, 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 I ain't cheating. Not cheating and gotcha. I did want to though, I really wanted to, but I didn't want to do it after I already lost all three times. Yeah, she, it was really funny. Um, yeah, no, the handler was great. We really liked him. We liked him so much that we told him to come for our panel on Sunday to be our handler for Gamescom as well. And uh, Saturday when Suling and Craig were doing their meet and greet, we went to, Emily and I were hanging out. So we took a little break. Uh, and oh yeah, my dad. My dad lives in China, so he flew to Singapore just to come see me for this event. And I never, um, uh, I haven't seen him in almost a decade now, so it was really cool to be able to see him. Uh, we met up there, because I'm not flying to China, that's too far. So we kind of like met halfway, and uh, he was chilling at the hotel. Hang on. God damn, I have to cough so much, this sucks. Uh, but he met us halfway. Uh, I went, I took Emily to meet him. Uh, we had a good time. We chatted for a little bit. And then Emily and I went back to Gamescom to uh, 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 pick up badges for my dad. Oh my god, it was so funny. My dad showed up. My meet and greet and Emily's meet and greet, it was on Sunday. And my dad showed up to it. And he he's like this really free-spirited dude who doesn't like to follow the rules. So he wouldn't wear his goddamn badge. And so he showed up to my meet and greet. He cut the line. He was taking pictures of me right next to me and where it's like a gated area that you're not supposed to cross over. And so the handlers, the, the not Mr. Handler, but the other handlers are really confused going like, what is this guy doing here? He doesn't have a badge. There's nothing going on. And they were trying to escort him out. And he, he, he didn't speak any English. And that's the first language they were trying to use. I think they eventually spoke Chinese with him, and I was too busy doing my meet and greet to look over what what the hell he was doing. They just had no idea who he was, and he was acting really suspicious. And so I think like five minutes of him just taking pictures of me really close up and cutting the line. They're like, "Sir, we have to escort you out. You can't be here." Uh, and he's like, "Oh, that that that's my daughter." And they were like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that makes a lot more sense." And so they pulled up a chair for him to sit in, and it was right behind the backdrop of where my photo area was and so every single person who took a picture with me after that moment you can see my dad in the background of the photo like it was such a bad placement it was oh, let me see if i can find one that that's especially egregious hang on let me look let me look let me look it, it was just so funny and i just don't know what they were thinking with this the chair hang on hang on hang on hang on, hang on, hang on. I have got- oh my- oh my- okay, okay, hang on. <laughs> this one is especially bad. Uh, how do we do this? How do we do... Display capture, maybe? Let me see. How do I just show... We'll just do one of these. Yeah, do y'all see that? Do you see th do you see this? Do you- do you- do, do you see this? <laughs> That's the badge. He's still not wearing it. He's still not wearing it. And then, like, the meet and greet area, we're supposed to be over here taking photos, and he's just photobombing everything. It was so funny. Oh, my God. But, yeah. That was that in a nutshell. <coughs> but he came Saturday night. We got him the badge. 
And while we were getting his badge, we went to get a badge for our Mr. Handler in case he could make it. The thing is, he has to work at the cafe. And because it's so busy at the cafe, we weren't sure. No, I had no idea he was sitting there. I didn't I, I didn't even know he was here. Well, I knew he was here. I didn't I didn't know what he was doing. Cause I I just wanted him to show up to see that I had a meet and greet. Cause I just wanted one of my parents to know what I was doing because they think I'm going to Singapore getting kidnapped and shit. Cause they're like, why the fuck does anyone want to see you? My parents my parents are, are, are messed up. But I wanted one of my parents to see that I was here on business and let them know we were we were doing things and I, I wasn't expecting him to stay for all three hours sitting behind photobombing everybody um but yeah uh uh sorry before i get to start we'll get to sunday we'll get to sunday how did you find out because people were tagging me in pictures and i saw my dad in the pictures <coughs> uh yeah no no they don't they don't know that my parents are dumb no, sorry, that was rude. My parents aren't dumb. They just didn't know. They're very old-fashioned, and they think that everywhere is unsafe. Because America is unsafe at night, so I think they just automatically assumed everywhere it was unsafe at night. Um, chronological order. Saturday, uh, we got a, we got a pass through Mr. Handler, and he showed up to our uh, meet- he's not, not our meet and greet, but he showed up to uh, Suling and Craig's meet and greet. And we gave him our guest badge. And he said he would try to come on Sunday, uh, but he has to work at the cafe. And Sunday comes. What else do we do Saturday night? I think we went to the zoo. I can't remember anymore. It's, it's been it's been a long time. Well, it hasn't been that long, but my memory is just shit. It was really fun. Uh, but the zoo, I was so tired on Saturday. I don't remember what we did after that. Uh, 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 Sunday, though, he, we, we did. It, we, we, uh, we have a Honkai Saro panel to do. And at the beginning of the, uh, of the day, we had a rehearsal for the panel. And none of our Gamescom handlers were there. I I think the organizers said that they would debrief our panel to the handlers. But the fact that they weren't there kind of made us a little bit worried. Because we... Not to make it sound like... Whenever I do a panel, I want it to be hashtag not like other girls. I want to have an interesting panel. I want it to be unique. I want it to be... Um, slightly interactive and fun to participate in. <coughs> and um, the panel idea that we had originally had was just a Q&A. That's all they wanted us for. And I was looking at the other panels and I didn't really want to do that format. So um, I had uh, done a game. I don't know if anybody was in chat when I was talking about that Jeopardy game idea that I had. The guess the voice lines Jeopardy game. Where uh, we would do it on stream. It was it, the, the idea I had was formatted for stream. We had to reformat it for a live in-person audience. And we had to make a lot of adjustments. So I don't think it was as fun. But it was still interesting. And um, yeah. So the stream one was just like you would play a voice line. And then you had to guess who voices it. What character. And it was going to be really obscure things like someone's death groan. Or something like that. And for the event we just did alts only. Because... We, we really couldn't really do much for, uh, besides because we, we don't have a monitor to pull up to do like a Jeopardy style where we can click and play an audio. Uh, it was also really hard to hear during the event. I thought the mics would be louder, uh, but like when people in, in the crowd were handed a mic to talk to us, we, I was just like, I, I'm going to lip read you the best I can, but I do not know what you're saying. Um, and our panel was essentially guess the alt line. I didn't when I was when I was setting up the idea. I didn't realize how fast it was gonna take. Uh, uh, and also, everybody picked Craig because he doesn't play the game, so he was just like making shit up on the spot, and it was really fun. Uh, but it, you have just have a bunch of character names in a fishbowl, and you pass it out to the audience, and they pick, and whoever they pick, they can choose a voice actor to try to guess the voice line. And uh, it was so fun. It wasn't the same way as I wanted it to be, but overall, pretty successful. They gave us a bunch of gifts to give out too. Um, we also each volunteered two of our prints to give out for free, like a signed print, which I kind of regret doing because I sold out really early out and then I didn't have any prints to sell. <coughs> we had done custom Singapore sizes and um, uh, like it's a special holographic format on it. And I once I ran out, I was selling my American sizes and I felt really bad about that. Um, but yeah, and the panel went by really smoothly. 
uh, Mr. Handler showed up. He only had an hour to be here because I, I think what he was doing was he was working at the cafe. And as soon as he had a lunch break, he would come over here to help us. And then he would go back to the cafe again. And then he came back again for his, I guess, dinner break because Emily and I had our meet and greet. And uh, the line was pretty, pretty long. Uh, the, my my handler, the, the, the volunteers that we had helping us throughout the meet and greet were student volunteers. I don't know if it was their first time doing it or not. Uh, they were great. They were still really great. But Mr. Handler did show up and he was teaching everybody what to do, even though he was not affiliated with this event. It was really funny. And, um, yeah, uh, uh, there was some people bringing me stuff that, uh, was not in the- So we had a package A, B, and C, and each package came with different things. Some people were bringing me things that wasn't included in their package, which I- 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 sometimes I just didn't check, and so I signed it anyway. Um, one person brought me a reprint of my print. So, um, my Zila print, that's like the darker purple one that I bought the rights to, they, they didn't buy that print, but they reprinted it on lower quality paper and then had me sign that. So I was kind of like, what the hell? I didn't say anything at, uh, in person, but that, that caught me very off guard. Uh, they're still really polite and I think they, 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 they thought they could just like blindly push it through and they did. Uh, Mr. Handler did notice and he did come by and tell me that they shouldn't do it. Um, and I told him, yeah, we, as if, cause if you as the actor enforce strict rules, that makes you look mean and, 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 and ungrateful and stuff. So that's why your handler needs to be on top of that shit. And my handler just wasn't quite paying attention to that stuff cause she was taking photographs, but Mr. Handler showed up and, uh, he took care of that situation. So that was really fun. And anytime that a fan gave me a gift, I didn't have any space at my table to put it, so I would get it, and then immediately, you can see Mr. Like, because my dad was filming me the entire time, you can see Mr. Handler show up right beside me, both hands out, ready to take it and put it in a, in a little baggie in the back. Like, that man was on top of his shit. He was fantastic. And he was not paid for any of Sunday. And so that's why we were saying that we would treat him to dinner after we were the meet and greet. But the meet and greet, um, for me at least, it went on all three hours. Uh, the line eventually, I don't know if they cut off the line or they just uh, organically died after three hours, but I sold out about two hours in and by complete coincidence, we had a, um, a bunch of American sizes. They will not sign official art. <coughs> we were only allowed to sign official art. That's kind of crazy. Reeve! Reeve! Oh my god, Reeve. Every time I see your name, I'm reminded of that that the mute feature is a thing. Wow, is this your final true form? No way. This is like when you go to Final Fantasy XIV trying to sog in Beast Tribes. <laughs> I logged on 14 two days ago. I'm gonna start playing again. <clears throat> I might start streaming that too. I don't know if that'll be really fun, but I'll, I, I will be. I will be doing it. Um... What was I saying? Sorry, y'all. I keep getting distracted. We also haven't played the game at all. <laughs> what can you do? Wait, what the hell? Why do I have Genshin on? I don't even play Genshin. Let me close this. Oh, let me. Okay. What was I saying? God damn. Chronological. Here, I said. Oh yeah, the, my my meeting greet went on for three hours. It was a lot of fun. I met a lot of people, and I don't know if y'all remember me talking about it. Sort of. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Thank you for the resub. Managed to pull Topaz, her weapon, and Zila's weapon. Woohoo! Nice job. Good RNG there. We haven't pulled Topaz yet. We'll probably pull it in a second, though. Um, yeah, if it sounds like I have shit in my mouth, I have a cough drop in, so don't mind me. Um, what was I gonna say? Y'all, I don't have the attention span to talk and do other things at the same time. Oh, no. Oh, oh, uh, wait, no. <laughs> what was I saying? Span of a goldfish. That's why we have the fish fish. Holy shit, what was I saying? As soon as the sub alert comes out, I completely forgot. Um, but yeah. Uh we had printed custom Singapore sizes. Help it was me, like Mr. A... Sparag! Oh my god. Mr. Sparag can help my memory issues. Uh 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 
<laughs> You're trying to distract me more. I'm trying to finish my Singapore story so that we can finally play Star Rail. You just keep distracting me. Um, we printed custom Singapore sizes. It was like a small postcard size. Because we were told that in Singapore, they don't really want the big posters. You know how in America, the 11 by 17s, the really large ones are popular? Suling was saying that in Singapore, they don't really care for the larger sizes. So we had printed custom small sizes. So we had a small one. All packages came with a photo. And I think I'm going to start adopting that for American cons too. Because it just feels really weird to charge that much money for a photo. And then a separate fee for the autographs. It's just a lot. So I think I will look into combining both as a package. Regardless of what country con I'm going to. Um, but yeah, uh, something was saying that in Southeast Asia, they really just want the photo. That's what they consider to be the prize. And the autograph is just like a bonus thing. Uh, for me, I didn't really understand that concept because if you look at me, Emily, and Suling, if you just take a photo with us, we're just regular Asian people. You, you, no one would have any idea who we are. But if you have like a signed autograph, it's pretty apparent who signed it. Um, so I don't know. It's just kind of kind of confused there it was it was interesting uh but you know if that's the culture because in america they just want your autograph they want your autograph to the point where if you sign a fungal pop they will get your autograph and then they will resell it it's a it's a it's a very different culture and we did our three packages um that had like a small print a medium print and then like a eight by ten print so it's still the small american size but it's a large singapore size and all of them came with photos and when I sold out, I didn't have any prints that were Singapore sizes. So I took out my American ones. I had accidentally brought them because they were already in my little holder, print holder things. And I just didn't take them out. Luckily, I, uh, uh, luckily I, I, what's it called? I, 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 I did bring those because I ended up selling those at $30 or 30 sing instead. And, um, I think I sold out of all the, pr the, 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 the purple Zila ones. That's not descriptive. Purple Zila? Whoa, whoa, what a, what a new color for her. Um, the fancy one, I sold out really quick. And then, um, I gave a bunch of freebies out to everybody that wanted one, uh, that was helping me. So all my handlers, not to the guests, cause that would be too much, but anybody who, uh, wanted an autograph. And they were my handler. I, Because I had a bunch of handlers. We had some security people. We had... I don't even know what everybody was doing. Oh, I gave Mr. Handler. I gave him... I, I I was sold out at that point. But I gave him one of everything I have left. Which was only two. And none of them were shiny. Emily still had her shiny ones left. I had nothing. I was jack shit sold out. I felt so bad. Because I wanted to give him something. Um, and I signed him one for him. And I on his print I wrote like... Oh damn, I wish I could take you back. And the more I wrote how much I wanted to take him back, I was like, damn, this is borderline human trafficking. I need to chill. But I wrote it on his print, so now it's down in paper, so he could technically blackmail me at any point. Not that he will, because he's such a nice dude. But we did that, and then um, I gave some out to the organizers. Did you meet? Yeah, there were some people that we met through um, Discord. I met Ting Stardust. I met... Um, there was a, a a gentleman who always emails me, uh, uh, who doesn't really use social media. I met him as well, which is really funny because I um, email is such a more formal way of communicating that I didn't really uh, expect to meet someone that I've only emailed before. But like a fan who only emails me, I met him as well. Um, there was a Chinese fan. I think he was either Chinese or 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 Singaporean, but just spoke Chinese, which is everybody. That's the other thing about Singapore. Everybody speaks Mandarin. At least most people I met spoke Mandarin. Um, and they speak English. And like they speak like five other languages. It was insane. Our hotel guy at Marina Bay uh, Park. I don't remember which Marina Bay. Because after the con, I went to Marina Bay Sands because I was chilling with my dad for a few days. Everybody speaks every language. It's insane. It makes... Because make, at the hotel, when the um, uh, our, our, our concierge was... <coughs> oh, Jesus. Our concierge with it was an Indian fella. He spoke Chinese to us and he spoke English to us. And so while we were talking to him, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I feel so dumb as an American because we only speak English here. Uh, uh, well, we speak other languages, but primarily if you look at the bulk of Americans, we typically only speak English. And so Singapore was just really insane. I was not expecting that much 
diversity in languages. So my dad was getting along with everybody real fine because he doesn't speak English very well, but he only speaks Mandarin. It was really fun. Um, and a fan came up to me who spoke Chinese and he was telling me that my streams were clipped and uploaded on Billy 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 Billy. I don't know what the Chinese name for it is. I think it's just Billy Billy. Um, but he showed me I, I, when he was telling me, I was like, oh, shoot, I didn't know about it. that's kind of crazy. Uh, and I guess my reaction was uh, so so uh exaggerated that he came back in my line later on to show me the vod and it was really funny um and someone had like subtitled it and everything it was crazy i wasn't expecting it uh i don't think there's very many of my clips but there was a lot of alejandra i think which makes sense alejandro is a is is, is a delight a big personality that man but it was really cool just wasn't expecting it i got a lot of gifts um i got <laughs> <laughs> people gave me gifts to give to Alejandro. It was really funny. Um, yeah, no, it was really pleasant. There was a couple of people who came up to me who were offended. If anybody has watched the video that Mina and I did together where we did a tier list of characters that we liked and I ranked Kafka uh, relatively not high. <laughs> so aka the bottom. Um... There's a couple, I think like two or three people who came up to me to 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 ask me why I could do such a thing to their faves. They were polite about it though, but it was really funny. Um Yeah, was there anybody else? I think there was a one other person. If if somebody somebody from the Discord showed up in my meet and greet, I gave them free stuff. There was an artist, um, I can look up the name on Instagram in a second, but uh there was an artist who gave us a bunch of free art and she gave me Okay, the next stream we'll have, well, uh, let me gather all the stuff I got from Singapore and we'll do like a little, a show and tell. Not tonight though. Tonight we got way too much shit to do. But, uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a little show off stream where I can show off everything I got. And this artist gave me a little notebook that she drew of Zila and Branya together and it's so cute. And it's probably one of the coolest things I've gotten because usually when you get merch from people, it's some kind of poster or keychain or the more standard con items but this was a notebook and i really like things like that so uh i'm excited to put that to use and i don't know i just really like it i like it a lot um what else did we what else did we get oh someone gave me a bunch of snacks that was also really cool um i feel like the co the, the custom in singapore is to feed your guests until they cannot move and then they stay here forever that's what it felt like. We had so much food every day, but jokes on me because we had a five star hotel breakfast that was included in our hotel, and I was full every day after breakfast, where I could not eat after breakfast anymore. It was really funny. And the meet and greet for us took all three hours. Um, I sold out, which was really fun. Uh, I'm sure my con agent loved to hear that. And if anybody remembers when I was complaining about my um, my first con experience in America, I'm not complaining. It was still a good time, but it was a really small con, and I felt really guilty because I didn't sell very well at all. And that typically looks bad to the con organizer when you don't, when you're not like a popular guest, I guess. Guest, I guess. <laughs> That's a funny line. Um, so yeah, that kind of sucked, but overall. The first con was a interesting experience. It was a first time convention, so that probably explains the lower uh, con density. And then my second event was a one day gaming tournament that also wasn't very big either. So when Singapore happened, it was insane how, how much better I sold. And I don't think I'm gonna have a con that good again. I'm not gonna have a Mr. Handler that good again. I've been spoiled for cons forever. Yeah, I don't know. Just kidding. I have Anime Dallas in two weeks. Please come to Anime Dallas. Bill Butts and I will be there. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And after the meet and greet, we took, we we asked Mr. Handler to come to dinner with us, and uh, it was really funny because we were supposed to treat him to dinner, but we went to the hawkers market where. Our deal was everybody buys one dish and we'll just all share it. And 
when Mr. Handler came, he bought like three dishes to give to share to us, so we couldn't pay for his dinner either. And yeah, he did everything for us, and then he took us home. Would you marry Mr. Handler and give him a green card? No joke! I told Emily, like, what are the methods we can use to bring him to cons with us in America? <coughs> no, he was awesome. We really enjoyed him. Um, yeah. I do have his phone number. We could keep in touch, but uh, probably not. It's too much of a, of a, of a location gap there. But he was, he was very, he was the highlight of the trip for sure. We still joke about it. Our, our Singapore group chat is literally, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna say his name, but it's Mr. Handler Fan Club. That's, that's our group chat's name. I'm not, I'm not even joking. That's, that's what we've done. And after the con, when Suling's agent was paying me for my, uh, appearance fee, I told her like, oh my God, I so, thank you so much for setting up the cafe event. It was so much fun. I had a great time. Uh, I told her I want to take Mr. Handler back to, I, I just kept on saying that and I meant it as a joke, but I think everybody took me seriously. He's like, oh my God, he was so great as a handler. I wish I'd taken him back with me. And then he, uh, and then she responded saying, ha ha, I think he's too tall for your suitcase. He won't fit. And I was like, oh, ha, ha I was joking, but that, that I, I assume you're also joking, <laughs> question mark. It was a lot of fun. He was, he was quite a tall fella. And then as a nurse, there's something about people with really prominent veins that becomes your first feature that you notice in someone. Just because you, you, when you work in that field and you're putting IVs in on a daily basis, it just, that's just one of the first things you notice. And he had thick ass veins. I don't know if he knows that his veins are just, that's just, it's nothing to do with his personality, but like dudes with good veins, goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, I told him that on the last day. When I saw his arms, I was like, holy shit. That's some good ass veins. I can, no joke, I could probably put a IV in without, you can blindfold me and I could put an IV in. Because that shit was, we're not going to say these words, these descriptive words. Yeah, we're not going to, yeah, never mind. We're good, we're good here. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was great. Singapore was fantastic. And... Yeah, I, my dad and I hung out for Monday and Tuesday, and then I flew back on Wednesday. My dad set us up in uh, the the Marina Bay Sands, which I think is even the a better five-star hotel than the one that we were staying in at. Because that one was insane. Uh, and it had like an infinity pool that felt like you were falling off the edge of the universe. It was really cool. Uh, we had another five-star breakfast there. It was insane. I just felt like I was living like royal. They gave us a free room upgrade, too. I had a terrific view. Emily hung out with us for the mon for almost the entirety of Monday. And yeah, we had chili crab. That was delicious. We had, um, I don't remember what it's called, but Mr. Handler ordered it for us on Sunday. And it's like this uh, salted duck, or no, sorry, salted egg yolk shrimp, I want to say. I don't, Craig and I were calling it crack shrimp. I don't know what it's actually called, but it was delicious too. The very same that is the home of the Singapore GP. I don't know. Is, is it? I just know it's a really fancy hotel that we were staying in at. Yeah, salted egg prawns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was delicious. I was looking around. I don't think we have that in America anywhere. I don't think there's even any, any Asian restaurants that sell that. I'll have to take a look. Maybe LA has some. But I didn't see any around DFW. It's ju You say it's just, but... I ain't making it. Maybe when Celine comes to Malaysia, she'll cook us some. I keep covering my, my mouth and my VTuber little fishy doesn't really register what I'm doing. I think I can probably set it up better next time, but today was just like a little testing experience, you know, you know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was the bulk of Singapore. God, I'm really proud that we managed to condense it in such a short amount of time. Good for us on here shit all right maybe we should play the game a little bit because the stream has been going on for an hour and 30 minutes and we haven't done anything um all right what's the verdict are we pulling for topaz or not what to do what to do a lot of options um okay let's try her out 
and tried her out. Yeah, she it. Someone nummy is it nummy or numby? Uh numby to auto attack. During battle numbies. Shit, I ain't reading. Fuck that. Ooh, look at her butt. Damn, look at her butt. Damn, that thigh gap is kinda insane though. What is that? What is that? Is she cryo? This is Genshin? What is that? Is that her, her little medallion thingy? Hi, this is Toka speaking. You have soil? Hmm. Hi. Hmm. What? How? Jadala. Mm. How Jadala? <gasps> That's so cool. She has gun. Oh, does the piggy follow you around? Oh my god! Fuck, are we gonna pull her for the for the for the thingy? Ah oh, shit. Ah, oh, sh no, I will not be swayed. Ah, oh. what do I do? Okay. Um. Okay. 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 Let's use her first. What she do? What was that? I didn't read my skills, so I don't know what's going on. Okay, um... Tag along in a maze. Nummy will automatically search for treasures and trotters. Oh, so you have to use a skill for Numby to do stuff. If you don't activate it, Numby's just useless. Same <laughs> technique will regenerate energy for Topaz. Mmm. What does she even do? She's hunt? Inflict a single enemy with proof of debt. Oh my god, this tax collector here causes it to receive increased damage from follow up attacks. Oh! Zila's resurgence doesn't count as follow up attack, right? Nambi enters the windfall bon bonanza, bonanza, bonanza state and increases damage multiplier and crit damage. Okay. At the start of battle, summons Nummy. When Nummy takes action, Nummy deals follow-up damage attacks to a single enemy with proof of debt. When an enemy with proof of debt takes damage from follow-up attacks, uh, wait, what is she here for? All of these are Nummy's attacks. Uh, uh. What the heck? Vigilant. You tell me Nummy's the main character you. here? Easy, Nummy. Wait, what is this icon on the? Does he, does he do bonus damage against that? God damn! She's Mr. Handler for Numby, is that what it is? The market is unpredictable. Oh. I don't know what she does. This is a Pokemon. What the hell? This is a Pokemon right here. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Oh my god, Nummy. Nummy doesn't do sh- or sorry. Tophas doesn't do shit. That's so funny. Oh my god, this thing's broken. Who invited you? That's so- what is the auto attack? Oh, okay, the auto attack's the gun. <laughs> That's so funny. She's barely, she's barely doing anything. <laughs> oh, hello, raiders! Welcome in. Who raided me? Our Tumbo. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, y'all. We're playing Honkai Star Rail. I'm slightly sick, so don't mind the coughing. Oh my God! No wonder the current event is the Pokemon event. It all makes sense now. So is she main DPS or what? Should we do ours? Oh yeah, well, let's do ours. I mean, it gives 20 primos. Do I main Zila? I only have her at E6S5. <laughs> Alright, 
All right, we don't need to read. We know what she does, I think. Yeah, 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 we ain't reading. We're in trouble now. <laughs> wow, I have no idea how to use her. What does she do? Oh my god, why did she have another turn? It doesn't make any sense. Wow, shoot you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I don't have Clara Bill. <laughs> Y'all are expecting a lot out of me. What noodle compared to Molly's own topaz? Huh? Oh, I don't have a topaz. What do you mean? On my mark. On my mark. What do you mean? What do you mean? So you are afraid of me. Oh, you are afraid Welcome of me. Customers. Seventy-eight percent people said to pull. Wow. Yeah. Very well. We will pull. I'm, <laughs> I'm like autoing through this at this point. I'll free you from disappear among the Maybe sea the of butterflies. Oh, yay! Yeah, the fish is a VTuber model. It's not very um. It's it's it, the rigging is not as expressive as I thought it was gonna be, but it was free. I found it online. Uh, apply is vulnerable and to burn because I was kind of seeing oh, like, oh my that! god, Jesus Christ! Holy crap! Who did that? Scared the crap out of me. Um, <laughs> what was I gonna say? God damn! Every every time someone does that, I I forget what I was gonna say. Oh my god, she's so cute! Ooh! Oh, she's cute though! Okay. What'd she do? I want her! Oh, I like the hairstyle a lot. But you know, I was uh, kind of curious on VTuber models for streams where I don't want to use cam. Oh, she throws a bomb?! She applies burn. Okay, deals fire damage to a single enemy, minor fire damage to adjacent enemy with a high chance of burning them. What is she? Oh, Nihility? She's a debuffer? She AoE a lot too. Enemies are inflicted with burn. Okay, so if they're burned, they do more burn. The burn damage. There's a high chance of applying fire kiss. What's fire kiss do? What's fire kiss do? I'm just gonna guess Fire Kiss is burning. Attack enemy upon entering battle deals minor fire damage to single target applying Fire Kiss. A total of five bounces. Okay. Okay. Increased damage taken. Oh, okay. Everyone's a customer. Everyone's a customer. Is that a bomb in her hand? Who invited you? Slow it down while we use this. Ooh. It's never too early. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god, that's so cute! Happy New Year! Happy New Year. That's pretty funny. Dang, this is the patch of Pyro. It's time. Without Kafka is kind of rough for her. Oh, really? Uh-oh, did she replace Luca? I hope not. Wait, is that Nihility, Nihility oh, Debuffs? Oh, stars. I thought Nihility was debuff. She doesn't have any debuff. It's all fire damage. I'm on guard. She kind of does damage, though. This is an all fire team. Interesting. Oh, oh, frozen. Dots are debuff. Oh, I mean, I mean yeah. Feels like her damage. What what artifact set is she? Oh darn! I want to use her ultimate one more time. Good without Kafka. She's like budget Pela, not in dot since the. Oh, her burn lowers defense. Oh shit! Okay. Oh jeez. Why are there so many events right now? There's three. Can I finish this in three days if I haven't started? Uh oh. All right. What else can I? Oh, that's that. Okay. Um. All right. Let's 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 pull. Let's pull for topaz and gray knife and. Oh wait, we have these things. 
Holy shit, did I not buy these? Oh my god. I swear I play this game. I swear. Okay. 86 pulls. What the hell? Why do I have so much emos? What did I do? That not bother me. Thank you for the 6k, whoever used my characters. Uh, get out of here. I don't want all this notification stuff. Get out of here. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, potas time. Um, Sunset Claws. We're not rolling for this. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna use Topaz enough to make this worth it. Cause I, I don't. I liked her at the end of the Trailblazer mission, but the whole story that she's involved with is not my cup of tea personally. So she's not like my favorite character around. I think I'm just gonna pull for her to have her for Sam Slade, cause I like her voice actor. But I don't think I'm gonna invest too much into her. We're gonna waste stuff here first, though. God damn it. Natasha! I have like E20 billion Natasha at this point. Whoa, wait, 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 is that the thing? Wait, wait, I don't even know who I want. I have everybody. Oh my god, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is that? Whoa! You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I use her all the time. I'll take it. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I think I already have one of those, but I mean, I like Branya. <laughs> it's better than getting a character who I'm never going to use. Three more. These are all going to be one stars. Just watch. Just watch. Oh. Hi, Dunhan. Oh, that was it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Chat, I'm gonna need you to count for me. As you, anyone who's been here before knows that I don't read and I don't count. All right. What, wait, what's our pity at? I think it's like a fresh pity. Yeah, we're at zero. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go. First 10. All right, that's nothing. Wait, but we might get Queen Knife. <coughs> do we want to skip this or do we want to just go for it? Hmm. I already have a bunch of those. Queen Knife, Queen Knife, Queen Knife, Queen Knife. Expensive milk powder, please come to me. Oh my god, we've never pulled as a fish before. This is a absolute um, first time for us. We'll tap until we get to Gwynathan. That's a good, that's a good, good, good compromise there. Got a savior of the gotcha. Y'all, we got a whole event to do today. Was it 50 50 or guaranteed? Uh, ooh, there she is! Shit, oh, that was quick. All right, we're done. Oh, and Sushan's here too. All right, we got, we got the one copy of the girl. Um, Ching Liu, I think, was. I think I won the 50-50. Maybe. I'm just gonna double check real quick. I think I did though. I think I just went to the max, maybe? Jesus. Uh uh. <laughs> Fushin. Yeah, okay, yeah, I won the 50-50. Nope. I think that was nothing. What the heck? Well, that's a lot of Howards. Um. Um. Okay. 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 I don't know what E number Howard that is. Sorry, Yasumi. Damn. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Sorry, Yasumi. <laughs> Yasumi really wants Howards. No, that wasn't that wasn't one, right? Someone explained it to me that if the ticket looks like I'm having a seizure, then that that's the five star. Teen. Oh. Do I have a Max Adelon? Oh! Wait, no. I think I do. Wait, I don't I don't remember. 
What was that, 40? <coughs> Jeez, okay, 50, here we go. Uh, no, I don't feel like I'm having a seizure, so I think that's four star. Yeah, it's four star. Oh, another expensive milk powder. Oh, we'll take it, we'll take it. If you, there only be one icon of her. Oh, okay. Is that? Nope, no seizure. God damn it. I just want to make sure when I see the purple smoke. Okay, yeah, no seizure. Oh my god, there's so many of her! Are her Eidolons good? Because we're about to max her out. Okay, not really, but you know what I mean. What's her six? Increase stackable fire kiss count by one. Inflicted with causes. Regenerates two energy. Okay, okay. Target is being burned. The damage multiplier burn size. Oh! Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, no seizure. Um, why is 70 though? I don't like this. Another expensive milk powder! Wait, nothing's all up in my DMs. Okay. When do we start doing single pulls? Is that at 70 or at 80? When is the ideal time to do that? Singles now? Okay. Singles now. Okay. This is what, 81? 81. 82. Damn, they're making me go to hard pity or soft pity. Full soft pity. Oh, is that 71? Oh, 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 okay. 73. I can count. I can count. I can count. 73. 74. No seizure. Damn. 75. No seizure. 76. Seizure? No seizure. Once you see enough of these animations in a row, I really can't tell anymore. 77. Wait, seizure! That one's seizure! That one's seizure! That one's seizure for sure. I don't feel the seizure, but I my eyes are trained to identify the seizure. What does she hunt? Hunt. Okay, we want hunt. Hunt, 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 hunt. Yo! Easy game! The fish is here to make sure we win all our 50-50s. I wish the fish would twirl when I'm moving my head. It just looks like I'm having a seizure actually on the fish instead. Wow, how easy is that? <laughs> oh, I just realized even when I mute to cough, when I cough, you can still see the fish move even though there's no sound. That's really funny. <laughs> All right, easy game. And we still have 26 pulls for the next batch of things. Time to have her in my party and never use her. Woohoo, we did it. We will be pulling for Ho Ho and, and what's the other dude? Bon Jovi. <laughs> Giovanni. What's his name? Hang on, look at Twitter. Argenti! 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be pulling for him. He looks like he's pretty cool. Alright, let's see. What else did we get? We got a bunch of Howards. Is that... Oops! Go back, go back. Uh, who else did we get? My account is kind of disgusting now. Wow, there's there's the main character, Numbi. <laughs> Slurping noodles during handstand. <laughs> Brushing teeth while whistling. Smashing boulder on Wow, she's powerful. That's incredible. We'll build her up eventually. Because I'm trying to get everybody to 70, so I've got a couple of more characters to work on. And then we'll we'll do that. What what did I do? I mean, huh? Huh huh. Where I want to go. 
that hurt like a lot? Nah, not at all. What do you mean? <laughs> Subscribe for more? Is that what it- <laughs> Hang on. Blocking pike with neck. That's- that. This is death, in case anybody was wondering. If you block your pike with your neck, it's just called death. Swallowing sword to, to stomach. This is also death. God dang. Catching bullet with hands. Alright, she's just here to- These are all very dangerous. She's a risk taker. We like that for her. All right, let's do this damn event. How long would we say this is going to take? And is the story good? Do I need to be paying attention to it? Can I walk over here? God, why do you have a barrier here, Bellabog? Huh? God damn, making you run all the way around. Good night, Commander Wilkins. Thanks for coming by. I say do Planner Infinity because it's gone, gone in those three days. Huh? 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 <laughs> Go. huh? What is that? Planner, what is this? Is this, how long does this take? I do want these things though. How long does this one take? Uh, is this one short? One hour? You could do it super fast? Okay. What is this? I ain't reading. We ain't reading. Let's go! Lightning. Now nah, we going mono quantum. Fuck that. We ain't reading shit. Let's go! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> That's too many words! Who the fuck is gonna read that? Not me! Bye! I ain't reading. Bye! Alright, let's go. Can I just not fight anything? <coughs> Do I have to fight stuff? Oh shit, I have auto on. Dang, we should have we should have auto through the game while we were talking about Singapore. <laughs> oh, you want to break every destructible object? Propagation is cracked for this event, but IDK, do you have it unlocked? Oh, I don't know either. I haven't done swarm besides the first day that we did it. Destroy the objects. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, okay. We'll break it. We'll break it. We'll break it. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. We can break things. We just can't read things. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, these suck. Sure. I don't have it unlocked? What do you mean? What do you mean? Sure. Break things. Oh! I ain't reading. I ain't reading. Anything else? Nope, that's it. I haven't unlocked all the paths. Well, you know. Wait, how do you unlock it? What do you mean? Okay. Uh, yeah. You have a chance to get curious every time you blow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see if I can connect these two. There we go. Complete the most of Swarm Disaster Simulator Universe. <laughs> Swarm five. You have to be Swarm 5? Is it a permanent unlock or no? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Maybe if it's permanent the to unlock, we can consider it. Propagation is actually fine. Yeah, I heard. Wait, so if you isn't is Swarm permanent? Because if I don't do swarm, am I just going to be locked out of that forever? Oh damn, we're we'll have to pick a time to do swarm then. Um, more items. She's rage. She's quicker. Anything else to click? That's it. That's it. How do you know the doors will open? Is it because they're red? Just need to collect all the characters? Huh? Collect characters and swarm? 
I don't remember. How many bosses are there? Just unlock all the Storm Universe icons. All the chapters. Oh this shit! This long ass time. No! Do you know how far we are Don't behind on? Disappear among the sea we haven't streamed in like a Collisions month. Too much shit to do. How many bosses is this though? Do we know anybody? Obligation is basically useful in Dafa and Chicha anyway. Chicho, really? How did she make her way up in the rankings so quickly? Swarm is permanent? To oh, Swarm is permanent? Permanent? Does it reset ever? Is it like simulated universe? Where it resets? Cough drop time. Her gimmick is that it busts basic attacks. Chicho is about how dare you! How dare you say that in the Zilla VA stream? How dare you? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions Whose of the main source damage is basic attack. Is Jingliu not? What does Jingliu do then? I thought she was really busted too. Destruction. Cavity. I don't want a cavity. Uh oh wait, here we go. Oh, Jingliu's skill. Okay. <laughs> steel. It's so funny that you say steel because back before the game came out, there was an article who wrote about Star Rail and they... Oh, wait, what is this? Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's a ton of shit. Where, where, where are we going? Uh... Is there a thing that lets me go to the next- oh, down here. I don't think I have the right character for this, but it's okay. God damn, there's so much shit to click. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, my HP is gone. Oh my god, that's a lot of curios. And there was no curios in that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Click, 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 click. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh oh. We didn't break 20. It's okay. Does it matter? Is it just treasure that you don't get? Does it still let you complete the event as normal? Oh, I don't need any of these. Let's see. Preservation. Uh, oh. Anything else to break here? Lil's and Delph's Danhun element. Wait. Danhun and Vibrator Lune. Oh! Delph! That's really funny. <laughs> oh my god! Danhun element. <laughs> it really is one letter off from Delph. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the perfect nickname for him. He's really not daddy enough to be Dill because he's still pretty twinky, but that's a really funny name. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, <laughs> get me out of here. We're just gonna take what we don't have. Um, can you break this? This looks like a box, but you can't break it. How long is this? God damn. Get me out of here. I want to do the Pokemon event. Is Dr. Ratio? Dr. Ratio has some thick ass arms. I'm not going to lie. What is this? Oh. 
Oh, 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 I just pick Hunt because I like Hunt. I don't actually know if it's good or not. Wait, 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 wait. What'd he do, though? Hello, Stephen Kelly. What? I is there a side effect to this? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the hell? D did that cost me anything? I didn't read, but holy crap. Oh my god. There's no way you can lose this mode because you have so much- you're on crack. Is this the boss? Okay. Um... Sure. Damn. Oh, it's Jeppy! Jeppy Ardo. I'm gonna assume this is the last boss. I could be wrong. Is he command. the final one? I hope he is. Otherwise, this is longer than I thought. This is double speed. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Nope. Illusions of the past. Whoa! Jesus, that chunked him. Damn. Okay, damn. Probably manual this faster, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he has two HP bars. Damn, bro. How you like this? Oh, we should have silver wolfed him. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh my god. I want whatever will max out our event rewards. All things in the human creations. What did it have to do to max out the rewards then? I don't know. We just go for him. I don't really care about the guards. Fun this time. Time for a fun. <laughs> Ugh, disgusting. Stay focused. On my command. Oh. Time to finish this. Oh, I see. Silverwell has to do it every single time. Don't mess with me. Okay, he's getting a bit chonkier. Not by much. Why don't you just attack twice? A quick divination. <laughs> Can we- can, is it Silverwolf's turn? Hello? Silverwolf? Hello, Silverwolf? Silverwolf, please? Silverwolf? Are you going to attack, Silverwolf? This combat needs up. This is double speed. Oh, damn. Mono quantum in a nutshell. You don't have to read. You don't have to know what their weaknesses are. Wait, that didn't do shit. Oh wait, no, yeah, I did. Um. Sorry. Wait, I think I want that one. Uh oh, too late. Wait, I'm. I guess we're still going. I can save? I can save? Ah! Oh my god, jump scare. Cool. I didn't read. Let's go. Um, uh, I didn't read. Trickier to crack. This combat needs optimize. If there's this something I need speed. to know. Someone will tell me, right? Someone, will, someone in chat will tell me, right? Because I, I, I didn't read, so, 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 someone in chat's gonna, gonna tell me, right? 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 I'll free you from disappear among right. the sea of butterflies, illusions of the past. God damn, what's going on? Okay. 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 Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. 
This is okay so far. This is okay. Last time something was too easy, we died really fast, so I really don't know what to. Oh god, not these, these little things. Link's is so useless in my party. Silver, Silver Wolf, can you just go? It's never her turn. It's literally never her turn. Okay, it's her turn. <laughs> we'll save, we'll save her alt for the next boss then. How do you know what round you're on? Yeah, and then alt and he should be dead. I thought her stream was fast! I don't know, she broke in. That needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Well, then it won't be mono quantum anymore, though. I, I want it to be no compromise on the Disappear weakness in plan. Illusions of the past. <laughs> More mm. Oh, there we go. Time for a <laughs> oh, now it's your turn again. Now it's your turn again. We don't need it to be your turn now. God, Link's really isn't doing shit. Don't mess with me. <laughs> More enemies. Now it's always her turn. Is she already debuffed? She's already debuffed. Are all five of the modes like this? Because that's gonna take forever. What is that? Obtain 40,000 points. This combat need <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> All things in the oh, it's because of the hunt skill? Ah. Ooh, she kinda tanky though. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Ooh. Okay. How many HP bards? Just one? Maybe not too bad. I see through you. Gather as one. What okay, okay. She's kind of tanky. A little bit. Could be worse. Oh wait, sure he has weakness implanted. Whoopsies. Generate some skill points. And then... Oh. Maybe we can just auto-attack her for the rest of it. Um... Did he just die? No, hello? Okay. 55,000 points. Bro, chill! Which one do I hate more? I hate this one. This is double speed. Uh, I'm gonna ult this one because it has weakness though. Illusions of the past. Is this silver wolf's turn yet? Oh, not the fish. Don't mess with me. Not the fish. There we go. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Holy crap. Gosh, dang it. Gosh, dang it. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Over design the automaton. I time. wish you a very step on Lego. <laughs> time for a fun. That's fucked up. That's a, that's an evil curse to wish upon somebody. What a headache. Die. Die. Don't mess with me. Okay. How many was that? Is it over yet? Oh, my, oh six out of eight. Good God, headache. six out of eight. This combat needs. <laughs> This is double speed. Oh my god. Does I'll this end? Alright, because you know how there's five of them? Are they all this many? Of the past. Who's next? Uh oh shit. Trailer drop? Trailer drop for what? Let's see. Trailer drop. <laughs> Let me. I have it on auto while I look at the car. Oh, whole host trailer? Wait, no, that's not whole host trailer. 
What is this? Gather as one. Yeah. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh. Oh yeah, let's watch this in a second. Hang on. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. How do I only show my web browser very quickly? Because <coughs> I don't want to show my my entire. God dang it! How do we do this? So, maybe it is, it is just browser capture, right? I have to do window capture. Dang it! Okay. Let me make it a, its own tab then. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Yeah, I just didn't want to do the whole the window. Past. Like, is there a way to just do a little bit of the window? Whatever, we'll just do it. If we can finish this, we're trapped in here forever. This is double speed. Have you seen Boko and Argenti's banner? Yeah, I'm gonna be pulling on both of them. I don't know what they do, but. Argenti's kind of hot. I'm, I'm very intrigued by the idea of his character. Coco, I have no idea what her personality is, except for like, timid creature. Is this the last one? Have we made it yet, or no? Are we still not quite there yet? Just auto while we watch? Yeah, we can do that. I think we're almost done though. Okay, hang on. Let me share the screen first. <laughs> what is this web browser? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Oh no, it's just regular. Illusions of the past. Browser. Wait, that's not the right one. Hang on. That's the right one. Uh, this is double speed. Window capture? Yeah, window capture. Oh, hang on. Okay, so this is done. Uh, only an A? Continue exploration. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It. No one saw that, no one saw that, no one saw that. Um... Uh... Oh, do I do I get all the do I get all the rewards even though we we did the thing? Huh. Is that it? I have no idea how this works. Is that all the rewards? Oh, that is all okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. These some good rewards though. Holy crap. Alright, hang on, let's do this one. We're gonna do these up until uh, we get to that long one that we can auto through everything and then we'll watch the trailer. <coughs> Cause that one takes some time. Propagation- Oh, I don't have propagation! <laughs> Y'all were right! I don't have shit! <laughs> S is just extra credits? Okay. Uh oh, what did I click? I didn't even see. Run May. World Slice. Run is such a weird word. I don't think I've, I've even heard that in Chinese before. Cool. I don't know what this does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll become the perfect man. Sure. I love becoming the perfect man. Sure. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's keep going. I'll keep betting. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't reading shit. Let's go. Oh, that's all we got. Nice. We learned so much from this encounter. Yeah! Reading! Woo! Hunt! Yeah! Wow, there's no battles? Oh, wait, I forgot to break things. Sorry. Uh, so that's all you can break. Do I still break things? Reading! Oh! Wait, I don't want Nihility. I'll take the fragments. <clears throat> oh my god, did she just show up to give me free shit? I love her. I love her. She's perfect. She's Yeah, I'm rich now. We can reroll as many times as we want. What is this? 
door. Sure? What was that? Oh, okay. Auto this shit. Restart? Why are we restarting? I ain't restarting. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Yeah, we're rich in, in what's that currency called? Oh shit! Sorry, I bumped the mic. Oh, I bumped the mic again. All over a cough drop. Sorry, y'all. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Damn, the Star Road category is like dead tonight. Has it always been like that? I never pay attention because I don't look at other streams, but... Oh my gosh. Daryl is kind of... Kind of... What's going on, Daryl? Alright. Oh, that's a lot of hunt. Hunt! I don't even read what it does. Just click it if it says hunt. That's how I play the game. Okay, maybe I'm... Sure. Genshin update? Yeah, that's a problem when all of Gotcha is playing the same company's games. You just kind of alternate between the two. No new content except for me, because I haven't played in three weeks. Well, I've played, but I haven't done any stream content. Anything to break? Oh, yeah, I was already full. What's this? I ain't reading. What was that music? Um, ooh, hunt. Yeah. Keyword hunt. Yeah. 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 Hunt. I ain't clicking. Sh I don't know what I'm clicking at all. I'm just clicking the same word. Hunt? Yeah, I will click it. Hunt? We'll click it. Hunt? No hunt. Hunt? My my reasoning for, for life is very easy. I don't think breaking things gives you stuff this time. I think. I don't know, I ain't reading. This is a pain and blessing for every success of comic fail to fail thirty percent. I don't want your shit. Just give me hunt. Let's go! Let me get to the boss so we can auto. God damn. I wanna watch the trailer. Oh wow, that was quick. Hello, Stephen Kelly. Give me free shit again. Oh my god, I love. Wait. The Stephen Kelly shop changed. I have to buy things now. I want the hunt. Oh, we already have it. Um, I mean we're rich, but like. Oh, I'm too rich. Is that what happened? Damn. Whatever, waste money. Sure. What? Oh, click the wrong one. Whatever. Not like we have anything else to spend money on. Suffering from success. We're too rich. God dang, look at that. Oh, did I tell y'all in Singapore, we went, uh, Emily took us to the Pokemon Center and she started chatting up the cashier who was a fan of Honkai Star Rail. And I took my dad's credit card and I bought everything I wanted. Is there anything else in here that's good? Well, let's take some... I just, I just don't need this shit. But I have money, so I'm just gonna buy random stuff. Alright, um... Yeah, sure. Is this the final- Okay, is this the boss that goes on forever? Is this the boss that goes on forever? Okay, let me auto this while we watch the trailer. This is double speed. This is double speed. Alright, let me see. Let me go capture. Alright. Hang on, let me turn the volume for the game down. And then we'll watch the video.
When the Xian Shou people roam the galaxy, they inevitably meet strange beings. So lots of spooky stories start with these encounters. On one such occasion, a new Ted Lord's Commission judge received a decree ordering her to subdue a demon. Excuse me? You won. Where are your manners? Whoa! <laughs> Halloween's already passed, y'all. What's going on? Huh? The compass? Uh, oh, she's so cute. Uh, uh oh. Yeah. Oh. The new one. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> right there. Switch back to Chad. That was great. I like the art style a lot. Wait, 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 wait. Let me open that menu back up again. Who's credited in this cast? Let's see. Okay, the, so the tale is voiced by the same guy who voices Argenti. Interesting. I wonder if that was like a. Is that the case in the Chinese and the Korean and the Japanese? Okay, so Hanya and Shui Yu. Okay, okay. Interesting. That's a cute little promotional video that would be really fun to have on Halloween. Same VAs are- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me turn the volume back up. Oh my god. What do you want, Herta? Oh. Okay, let's do it. The thing with this next batch of characters is I, I don't think I'm super excited for any of them. <laughs> Argenti? Oh god, I need to cough. I need to cough that time not to clear my throat, but because I'm eating a cough drop and the spit just like choked on my throat. Um, what was I saying? Uh, the next patch doesn't look super interesting to me, but... I think I'm gonna pull for Argenti just because I like his design. I thought he was a really hot woman when he was first revealed until I realized it was a dude. Because I was like, damn, they're not gonna make another redhead hotter than Himiko. And then I saw I saw Argenti and then I was disappointed because it was not a hot redhead female. But it's a, it's a hot redhead male, so I'm still gonna pull for him. We'll pull a, if she's not annoying, I will pull for her. I mean, I'm gonna pull for her anyway. But as her personality stands now, I'm not incredibly interested. But I could be interested. We could, be, we could go for it. Um, yeah, the run may doesn't interest me either. Uh, Personality-wise, I don't know what we have so far. We've only seen her in Simulated Universe, and personality is a pretty big part of the character. So, just based off what we know right now, she doesn't interest me. Her design, she's really, really pretty, I will say. She's very, very gorgeous. But, yeah, not really, not really interested. I like her color scheme, but I think it's been done before with uh, Delph. 
and then there's something I saw a couple of posts on it and I am inclined to agree where the um the design for the Shindra local females especially the shape of the dress just looks kind of similar after a while I don't know if they're doing that on purpose because it's from the same nation but Lita didn't have this problem either so I don't know why they're doing that for the Shindra local that mage just looks a lot more generic than I wanted her to be. Her um, reveal art looks really cool though. Uh, it looks a lot better than her like cone art. It's not even so much the pattern, it's like that shape of the dress, the design of the dress, it's just kind of repetitive at this point. Yeah, no, that's a good point. They look more uniform than the same way. They really do. Because look at Japar, look at Pela. It's a similar color scheme, but it doesn't, it doesn't look similar at all. And Serval especially is very different. Even the Shinra local guys look different. I don't know why the females look so samey. Because her and Jing Liu's dress are similar. Her and uh, 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 Yu Kong's dress are similar too. I think the only one with the more unique Shindra Wolf design was um, uh, Fu, the, uh, Fu Shun and Ting Yun. Yeah, so you know they're capable of making different designs because Bellabog, all the girls are very, very different. So what happened with Shindra Wolf? And Shindra Lofu, the thing is, and Bellabog, the characters, if they're Silvermane guards, their color schemes are almost identical. And in, in, in Lofu, their color schemes are all different, they all have different hairstyles, but they still look the same. I don't know what happened here, because the unit didn't have this problem. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But Remake doesn't interest me right now. We're gonna pull for her just to have everybody in the game, but... She's, uh, we're definitely gonna- I have three tiers of pulling. Uh, technically four. Four, uh, tier- S tier is Zila. We E6 S5 her. A tier is we like the character a lot, so we pull for the character and the light cone. C tier is we like the character enough to pull for the character, but we're not pulling on the light cone because we're not going to use him. Uh, D tier is we're not going to pull on the character. We have pulled on everything so far, but I don't know. Rame might be the first. I mean, if we pull for Topaz, we'll pull for Rame. Maybe she's broken. Who knows? They keep adding the, the, the power creep in this game is getting kind of scary. I don't think it's an aesthetic in China. I think the Chinese audience is complaining about the design too. I think something bit me. Ching Liu should be different. No, I think Ching Liu and Rami's their dress shapes look even more similar. With that belly button thing in the middle. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I want a quantum harmony. Give me, give me a, a second Branya alt quantum harmony. That would be really funny. <laughs> Never get sick of the quantum. Okay. What was this, number two? Oh god, there's no such one left to go. I am kind of tempted to play Genshin, because I saw um, Farina just got released, and people were telling me Fontaine is really, really good. But I am still in Inazuma. It's gonna take me like a year to catch up. Can you imagine a quantum Branya that gives everyone an extra turn with her ult and pair that with Zila, who already reset? Disappear among the sea that of would be insane. Illusions a quantum Branya harmony. Everybody. That's too much. That's like a loop, infinity loop. Creations. <laughs> Just Branya, but wearing a different dress. Nah, I mean, they've got so many Branya alts in Hong Kong back there. I'm sure they'll, they'll make it there eventually. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the Leo. past. Samir I've heard Samara was good. I've heard Fontaine was good. I've heard Fontaine was just top the waters off of everything. But maybe we'll work it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've heard Fontaine was very, very, very good. I keep seeing the 
the meme of Ray Chase's line of him saying the poetry something something. I can't remember what the rest is. But I saw everybody meme that. Water's Fontaine. We'll see. I would like to get back into Genshin. Um, I definitely will stream it if I ever get cast for it, but I don't get auditions for it, so it's going to take a while. But, um, I did reset to Final Fantasy XIV, so I think I'm going to be playing that for a little bit more. Just to catch up on things, because that's one of my favorite games, and I haven't played it in a couple months. Oh, we finished. This is a nice little auto moment. Oh, that was only two. We have so many more left to go. Where's my rewards? Give me my shit. Maybe we'll just grab everything at the end, actually. We have to do all of them to get all the uh, all the rewards? Because it looks like there's only... Oh, no. We do have to do all of them. Dang, and these are some good rewards, too. Alright, what's three do? I don't care what, what's strong. We're using quantum mono, mono quantum all the way. We don't need to read this way. Hunt. How long is um, Fontaine going for? Has, didn't it just come out? How, how are they on the next one already? I ain't reading. Let's go. Wait, what is this? I ain't reading. Let's go. Oh, what is this? Ahem. <laughs> <coughs> Double speed. Human creations. Well, <laughs> disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Well, I don't know. Gather as one. I don't think they do that. I don't I have no idea. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. What is this for? For the this event? What does three do? Why are we just randomly walking about? Get any cool rewards or anything? Only cosmic fragmentum thingies? Fragments? Not fragments. Slightly Delulu tonight. Is that a boss? Be Already? Watchful. Always. What's going on? What's going on? Fishing was convincing me again to Final Fantasy. Oh god, 14 is. Double speed? 14 is an adventure. I. Oh. There's so many games I want to play right now. I have to stream Honkai because I'm so far behind. I, I really I like streaming Honkai, so I have to do that at least. But then I want to play 14. And then I still have to finish Baldur's D3. There's, there's too much stuff to do and not enough time to do it all. Who's next? What is this? What does the symbol mean? Uh, I'm gonna click the symbol because I don't know what it means. Wait, does the symbol mean that it's a good thing? I'm gonna assume that's what it means. Oh, Huang, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Downloader. Uh oh. What is this event? What do I grab? Uh. Uh, we're gonna grab Tingwheel. I don't know what this is, though. Oh, shit. Barrel Breaker. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think she'll be good for that. The moon shines on the truth. Yeah! Wait, there's no more barrels. Do they respawn? Oh. Oh, oh okay, here we go. Hello? The moon shines on the truth. Damn, there's kind of a lot of these. Are there any more? Are they? <coughs> God damn it. 27 out of 30. Where were the last three? Fragments. Fragments. Is that it? Okay. Oh, there's another floor? Whoops. We tried. A for effort. Get her out of here. That's all, that's all we needed you for. Bring back our little cheerleader. Be watchful. 
Yeah, don't you know? I pulled her only to break barrels. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't know what the mini game was though. I just really turned to choose <laughs> the closest one to my mouth. Kind of cracked. Illusions of the past. I I think she's a good unit too, but I haven't built her yet. There's too many good destruction units. Oh my god, we still need the memory of chaos. Is the reset this weekend? God damn, maybe they're out of stream day in. Maybe Sunday night? We'll stream Sunday night? Damn, I have to go to Emily's stream tomorrow because she's pulling for Zila and I told her I'd be here for it. Maybe I'll stream after that? I don't know if I want to stream two days in a row, but if I'm not doing anything tomorrow- Oh my god, what is this? Do I have to kill him? God damn! Okay, we have to do Memory of Chaos too then, y'all. We've only cleared Memory of Chaos all the way once and then we never did it again because I was in Singapore for the next reset. Yeah, um, anybody who plays Final Fantasy XIV in this chat, can you do a full pre-made with me so that I can get the Fall Guys achievement win? Because I'm not going to clear it otherwise. I've heard that if you win Fall Guys, you get an achievement, but I have not made it past round two a single time, so if I do a full pre-made and everybody lets me win, I can get the achievement, right? Is that how it works? Wow, these give a lot of fragments. Little machine guys. How many people are in the Fall Guys event? <laughs> Listen, Emily rigged her thingy too. Mr. Handler helped her. I have to solicit my own help. And whomever. Yeah. Oh, it's 24 people? We can we can we find enough people for a full 24 man be made? I didn't read any of that. <laughs> Downloader, we don't need you. Hello, my man, Stephen Kelly. We free shit. What is this? Oh. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. That's a lot of money to spend. Oh, it costs more as I spend them. All right, maybe we'll grab some remembrance too. I mean, might as well. I got money. Is this my last chance to buy stuff before we get to the boss? What is that? Destruction. Eh, sure. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take some destructions. Why not? We're running out of hunt stuff to buy, so. Refresh. What is this? Preservation. Eh. Sure, sure. We'll grab some destructions. Why not? Why not? Oh, I'm out of money. All right. Yeah, that's all I got. Well, you know what? Let's re wait, wait, wait. Let's, 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 let's buy. Let's buy. Um, it's one more thing. Okay, let's buy- wait, there's a hunt right there, I didn't see it. Alright, now we're done. Damn, I love Stephen Kelly's character in this game. He gives me so much free shit. Okay, now let me start this boss fight and then we'll- We'll re-chat. Cause I can't multitask. Alright. Um, What we're doing? I am on- Lamia, Primal Data Center. My username is Molly Pop. See me around. Maybe stuff. Maybe. I don't log on that often right now, but I'm, I resub. I logged on uh, the other day to play with my friend Tom. And we were doing the Fall Guys event. And I realized I really suck at it, so. 
and I do. It is a very big download. I think it took me a couple hours to among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the Play on your son. Does your son play? I just tell him getting a hundred fall. A hundred fall guy wins? Uh-uh. You, you, you've got to be joking me. There's no fucking way. I can't even get one. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Illusions mm -mm. of the past. <laughs> What a joke. Hey, we did it. Hello, Erda. Erba. 100? People have already gotten it? I, I give up. I give up. I can't even... You know that first... I don't know if there's, there's variations in the Fall Guy series, but the first one, like... The one where you have the 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 one that knocks you off the, the leg. I it took me about four tries to get past that for the first time. And then I got to stage two and then it was like a one where you have to do go on different colors and I couldn't do the blue one or the I can't remember what color it was, but I couldn't do it. Wind training, buying it or what's wind training? Wind trade hundred wins? Oh, like you take turns giving wins away? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Oh. Illusions of the past. Converge and awaken. I think I'm gonna fuck up. I'm really bad at this. I don't think you understand. Like everyone's gonna have to jump off the cliff immediately before I can. I just want one win. I don't need a hundred. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Like back when I was playing 14 obsessively, all I did was front lines. And I got the Frontlines mount, That that's from 100 wins. I'll do that for 100 wins. I'm not doing Fall Guys for 100 wins. You're asking for a lot. Golden Saucer minigame? Which one? Anyway, the wind blows, that one? The RNG one? Matter time. I don't know. You're really overestimating me if you think I have 24 friends that play Final Fantasy XIV. Cause that's a large pre-made. Go to party party finder and be like, hey, does anybody like Honkai Star Rail? Can you do me a solid? <laughs> I have nothing to offer you in return. Not digitally at least. Shout out on Twitch. Thank you, um what, what are the funniest the Final Fantasy 14 Illusions of the past. usernames? Just do like a shout out on Twitch. I know there's a couple of Final Fantasy XIV content creators that I'm mutuals with on Twitter, but I don't know them. I'm sure we can put within this group and your friends. Maybe. Viewing cutscene. I mean, we'll get Julia. We'll get Julia involved for sure. Taylor Swift cast? <laughs> That's a good one. That's top three favorite for sure. Taylor Swift cat. <laughs> Anthropy, you don't play Star Rail. So I just feel like the least you could do is play Final Fantasy XIV. I think I finally figured out how to stream XIV too. Because it was broken for me for a long while. Wait, why is there another notification? Oh, okay. I was like, Honkai Star Rail, why are you posting so much today? Oh, it's really beautiful. For I encounter- Oh, my car encounter- What's the name? Lauren Bobert. Oh. I'm more impressed with Julia's competing a lot of her story. Oh, is she? This is double speed. Oh, you used to play for team? A huge- uh, you had a pugilist? You weren't even level 30? You didn't even job change yet? Oh my gosh, Angel P. Has the gotcha system that fucks the RNG as well, not rolls. Oh, I mean, but the- the, the RNG in 14 is never a permanent thing, because if you- if you stall long enough and you wait till the next patch, you can just go back and get it for a higher drop rate. Especially if you wait really, really long and you don't even need a full party to run the content anymore. Because I am planning on going back to do some mount farming. I don't have any of the um, 
Oh no, I have some of the Shadow Shadowbringers mounts. I don't have any of the Endwalker mounts yet. I did Barbariccia and I did um, Rubicante, but I didn't do Nightsinger. I need to do that still. You can buy 99. Of course you will. Of course you will. What else is there? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Sea of butterflies. How many? What boss is this? God damn, it's taking forever. I want to start the Pokemon event at least. Salad steak. Do you remember what Dad sent you on? You should re-download it. We can play. We can make it like a um. A uh, uh, Discord community event. As long as y'all carry me, I ain't doing shit. This is double speed. The fish persona. I don't know. I don't know if he's here to stay, y'all. He's kind of. He's kind of wonked. He's not really like the tracking on this thing is kind of broken. Like the lips don't really flap. <laughs> it's not a very flappy model for sure. Not that it's it's not his fault that he can't flap. He was just built this way. It's a hard life for him. But look at that, he can he can at least uh, nod at you. Whenever I cough, I do this. And it like arches the all the way in the back. And then I go, <coughs> and his eyes close. That's only when I mute and you know I'm coughing. <laughs> I just thought it was fitting because my username, Previo, before I went with my real name for voice acting, it was Fishy Pride. So, you know. Where, was anybody at Mina's chat the other day when um, we were, I don't know how we got on the topic of Fire Emblem, but I did a, like a, an abridged fan dub thing where I voiced Garnef in Fire Emblem and it was like a little abridged series and then the video is all Fire No Emblem and oh, some of you were there. I wonder how many people are from Mina's chat because Mina's Mina's definitely been very generous sharing her audience with me. But I really like hanging out with Mina, and I I, I try not to show too much of my fan work off because I don't want to get into any copyright issues now that I've gone pro. But um, that was a moment near and dear to my heart. Have y'all seen it? Do we want to watch it again? Here, once we get to the next botch boss, we'll watch it again. Y'all aren't ready for this. Does anybody know anything about Fire Emblem? Oh, you watched me first? Woohoo! Always love to hear that I can share my audience with Mina too. I always get worried that it's always one-sided, but that's always good to know. Let me get to the final boss for here, and then we'll play the video. It's pretty short. I think it's only like five minutes or so. But it was... So I think... I don't, I don't remember... I can't remember how we got on the topic of that video, but, uh, whoa, wait, what is this? Oh, shit. They run away from you. Huh. This is double speed. I didn't find Mia via you, but I did watch you first. Oh, nice. Big Ike fan. I love Ike. We like Ike. Um, Disappear among the sea of yeah, Fire Emblem of is past. a very small community. It's a pretty niche community. Um, and the content creator sphere for that is also pretty... I don't know if there's that many on Twitch besides Cyan Yo who streams on Twitch. I don't know if anybody else streams on Twitch. Maybe they stream Disappear on YouTube. Among the sea of I just know it's a pretty split community. Because um, they had some YouTuber stuff going down. What is this one? Is there any quirk to this one? But, um, I love Fire Emblem. Just while we're doing this, we'll give you a bit of background on my Fire Emblem history, but I love Fire Emblem. It is why I started voice acting. My first game ever was Fire Emblem 7, bind er, Blazing Blade, not Binding Blade. And I loved it so much, and Lynn was the first character you meet in that game, and she was my favorite character. And I thought she was really pretty and really cool, and I loved it, and I started playing video games after that. I think the game I played after that was Pokemon Leaf Green. It's been a, it's been a long time. The more tries you kill, the better the buffs. Okay, cool. Yeah, I 
I love that game a lot. It was my first game that I owned on GBA, and because I didn't have an allowance or any money, I would replay that over and over and over. And luckily, this is a game with really good replay value. So, I played it over and over and over. Uh, eventually, um, Sacred Stones came out, but I couldn't- I didn't have the funds to buy it. So my friend bought it, when I was sleeping over, I would make the excuse to sleep over, but just play her game all day. And eventually, she wanted me to stop coming over because it was getting really annoying that I would just come over just to, um, just to play the game. So she just gave it to me for my birthday. So I had two games to play obsessively until I got tired of it, which I never did. Um, if anybody has played the GBA Fire Emblem games, specifically Blazing Sword, at the very end of the game, there is a, a scoring system, and I really wanted to to be perfect on the scoring, which I never- I've still to this day never maxed out the scores. What is this? But yeah, the GB Fire Emblems are my favorite. Really fitting that you voice Sealer, her ult is good. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's what I thought too when I first saw her animation. People say it's boring, and I think it's not as flashy as some other new ones, but it's definitely very fitting to especially her sword master form. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the Remember past. Remember Lin? How dare you? God damn. No, I I never benched her. I think she was great. I love her. But um when I graduated college and I started working, I got really depressed. I really hated my job. And I was really active in the Fire Emblem community, but I'm I don't have a good personality for an actor. Like I get depressed and then I get, I have no self-confidence and no self-awareness and impulse control. So I don't know how I fell into acting. Well, actually I'm about to tell you how I fell into acting, but because I don't really like to talk to people um, besides like my Final Fantasy 14 friend group back in the day, I would go on Reddit. I grew up watching Gas Station's videos. He's a Fire Emblem YouTuber. And I would not really know how to get involved in the community. I, I'm not a musician. I'm not a singer. I don't really do any like analytical gameplay videos. I don't really, I don't have the, I'm not actually good at the game. I just like the game. I'm not actually a good gamer. So I didn't have any skills or assets to bring to the table that would make me, that would require the community to notice me or collab with me or just do anything with me in any kind of way. And, um, it wasn't until I, cause like whenever you go on Reddit, I want to be involved, but I don't know how to be involved. Oh, let's do this real quick. I didn't know how to be involved. And so, um, there was a fandom that someone was advertising and it was on a website called castingcallclub.com. And I took a look at it. It was for FE6 by New Blade. There was, there was open roles for every single character, and I took my phone, and I recorded an audition for fun. It sounded awful. Maybe one day, when it's not 11pm, I will show you that audition, and we can re-record it for the modern day to see a before and after. But, uh, back in the day, I recorded it on my phone, um, next to my computer with the fan blaring, and it sounded awful, and it was just really, really bad. Uh, but I met my best friend in voice acting through that website and we are still best friends to this day and she works with me on everything oh we'll, we'll, we'll get to that but just know her name is Ikaruz she's Mecca's editor and everything and she's she's been with me through every if I hadn't met her during that fandom I don't think I would have kept doing voice acting because again my personality is not very suited for a public kind of thing I know we're streaming right now but streaming for me just feels like I'm talking to myself and then people are listening to me talk to myself so it's not as weird but if i actually have to have a response back and i and there's another person i'm communicating with i get very nervous that people will think weirdly about something i've said so it's there's too much there's there's a level of self-consciousness there that i don't really super like what is this one? Oh, okay jing leo again god dang we pulled her to cheese uh Jing Leo. All right, let me in, boss. The moon shines on the truth. <laughs> oh wait. Oh wait, we still have to kill him? Oh shit. 
Never mind, this is a bad idea. Oh no! Wait, just freeze them all first. Just freeze them all first. And then kill them. Whoopsies. I thought they would automatically die. No! Oh. Okay, well. We, 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 we did our best. Oh shit, that's still a lot. I'll take it, I'll take it. Topaz makes the trotters not run away. Oh shit, whoops. Sorry y'all, I just read that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm honestly only using Ting Leo to destroy barrels. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Amelie. I'm so sorry. Forgive me for my transgressions. We bow before you, barrel queen. Uh, but yeah, what were we saying? Um, we got into Fire Emblem. <laughs> Uh, that fan dub. <laughs> and for some odd reason, I actually got cast for the role I auditioned for. And my friend that I met, Ikru, she also got cast for the role that she auditioned for. And we, um, started talking. We became good friends. We were both Fire Emblem fans. Uh, and that's when I learned that fan dubs online are almost always run by 13 year olds. None of this is professional, obviously, because it's fan dubs. So basically what these projects are is they cast the project and then that's it. It never finishes. It never goes anywhere. It just exists in limbo forever. So that was always kind of fun. But no, this was FE6. So this wasn't this wasn't the one that Lynn was in. I would have. I, I OK, I'll tell you about Lynn. I since I met my friend Ikaru through that that fan dub, we have created our own Fire Emblem content. If you look up Fishy Fried, you'll see a bunch because I did it all under my stage name. But um, for every project that we did that had Lynn, I cast myself. So, yeah, no, I, w I, w I was I was pretty shameless about it. I wanted to voice Lynn in any capacity I could, so I always cast myself as Lynn. But um, yeah, so we did that fan dub. We recorded some stuff, but it never went anywhere because it just automatically died because it's run by a bunch of 13 year olds who are just doing this for fun um but because i met that friend voice acting became something that was a weird secondary activity to do on occasion whenever i was bored or at home and um it still at the beginning wasn't there wasn't really anything you could do to to involve your oh shit there wasn't anything you could do to involve yourself in the community but because I met Icarus, again, like, I'm not joking when I said she changed my life. She went to school for video editing and sound design and all these really fancy things. And so I told her, hey, I'd like to do a cool Fire Emblem project. Uh, I want to make her own content that wasn't a fan dub because fan dubs have this really unfortunate stigma around them. So I really wanted just something unique that we can make that's still a fan project, but it was a way to combine our love for the franchise and then also voice acting. And so we did um, a series called Cypher Crits. It's really old now, and, and, and the thing I did as Lynn isn't really, it, I could definitely do it better now, but at the time I was really excited for it. And that video broke 100K views, which in Fire Emblem is a pretty big deal because the community is very small. Um, hello? <laughs> Bitch, let me in. Oh, it's this way. You I'm a little bit blind. Always. Let's do this, let's do this, okay. But, um, uh, what was I saying? Um, uh, we did Cypher Crits, and that took off pretty well. We did casting on it, on, um, uh, 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 Club. And that attracted the attention of other Fire Emblem YouTubers. So one of them was Gas Station. And I'm a big fan of his content because I, I watched him growing up. So it was really cool. And. Oh, hang on one second. Not so fast. Who will it be? Yeah, so Gas Station noticed our video. He. I don't think he was the first person to reach out. But the point is, a lot of YouTubers noticed it and they passed it around and they shared it. And it was really nice of them. And that was like our in with the community in a way. Because 
uh, we got to get involved with people who enjoyed the content that we made. So it was really cool. And um, because the reception for the first one was so good, we kept on making more. I think we made like four of them? Three of them? Four of them. We made four of them. And we made other Fire Emblem videos as well. And then uh, Gas Station had reached out to have us do voice acting for his videos. And it was a fan dub, essentially. But because he has a bigger audience, it was an easier way to kind of loop yourself into that genre. So uh, he had, he does a series called Support Science, which is a deep dive into the supports of Fire Emblem. And of course, he did one with Hector and Lynn was in it. And so I cast myself and I voiced Lynn. And then he did one for Lynn. And then I cast myself and I did that too. And yeah, I was really excited to do those. I will never say no to an opportunity to voice Lynn in any capacity whatsoever. So all of the um, voice acting in Gas Station's videos that have voice acting are all done by me and my little group of people. Oh, Izzy, have you watched them? Have you watched them? Oh, wait, was that not the end? God damn it. Oh, no, that was the end. <laughs> well, because we are at the end, that means we can watch all Fire No Emblem. So on the topic of Fire Emblem videos I did as a kid, one of which was a parody called All Fire No Emblem. And we're going to watch it right now. I voice a character named Garneth. I'll pull it up for you guys so you can see. I voiced a character named Garneth and I spoke in Chinese. That's how messed up this, this video was. All fire, no emblem. Let me pull it up. Hang on. Okay, let me turn the volume down real quick. Pull this back up. I don't think y'all are ready for this, to be honest. It's kind of crazy. So this is Garneth. I voiced this guy. Fire Emblem only has one anime, and he he don't look very pretty in it, to say the least. Volume down a little bit while we do this. You might be wondering, do I need to know Fire Emblem to watch this? No. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. I adore this ballad. Don't you wish the Dovahkiin was alive today? Wrong game, dumbass. <laughs> what the fuck? Do it. Cut its head off before it runs away. That's pretty harsh. I can't do it! <laughs> you fucking bitch! You embarrassed me in front of all my friends. Calm down, he's just a boy. Why the fuck are you talking? Do you hear the Naruto music? my friends music? won't invite me to poker night anymore. God, you're a pansy. <laughs> you shut your mouth, Ellis. That deer was literally screaming like a human. Yeah, right. And Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. Oh. Wait, what? The hell are you looking at? Huh? Hey, did you listen to anything I just told you? Oh. Yeah, I really don't give a shit. Give me a status report. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> our front line is in battle right now, I think. We should probably go help them. But I heard our enemies have flying horses or some shit. <laughs> Fuck that, man. What are we gonna do? The guy he who wrote this has not played prince. Fire Emblem. King That's Cornelius why it's so is funny. wielding the divine sword Falchion, which conquered the Dragon of Darkness. And he has the Orishan Knights. We will win. I mean, I don't know what that means, but okay. Hey, shouldn't we help or something? Sire! Uh, Sire! Huh? Jonathan? It's actually Jerry, but whatever. We have been betrayed by Graw. Damn you, Jonathan. You ruined my entire day. <laughs> Where is this thunder even coming from? <laughs> Hang in there, Jonathan. It's uh, Jerry, sir. I'm sorry we failed you, my lord. It was just too many. Tell my son, <laughs> Geb. I... <laughs> Geb is my favorite Fire Emblem character. And that's why we wrote that in. And Geb is hideous. I'll show you Geb after the video. Thank God. That was getting uncomfortable. <laughs> that's pretty harsh. <laughs> why the hell do you keep doing that? Like, you're not even hitting anything with it. 
，你根本不知道我在说什么，但是我就继续说，反正你也听不懂。I literally have no idea what you just said. Whatever. I'm gonna cut your fucking head off with this. 我最喜欢看的电视叫 Naruto， 但是我最近没有看了，很可惜吗？ This is for Jonathan, you raggedy piece of shit! Prepare to die! God damn, he's so good at screaming. <laughs> With the fall of Cornelius, New Orleans is now just Orleans. We cannot allow I'm New Orleans so to drastically much, change eating. like this. The future of the entire world may be at stake, bros. <laughs> Kate is right. Where else can we go to listen to jazz and eat Cajun food? Uh, anywhere? <laughs> Sit the hell down. Your screaming isn't gonna help anyone, idiots. <laughs> I mean, how else are we going to prove our point to everyone? Huh? He's right. <laughs> Yelling and being the loudest is the only way. My lords! Sup? Talus is on fucking fire! We got it! Look at all those flames! Looks like someone played my mixtape! <laughs> I'm gonna smack you! That's my favorite Holy line! Holy <laughs> shit, it looks like California! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, I'm not dealing with that shit. So I don't have to ask her why. You see, it's funny because Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> about to see me. Please help. <laughs> I can hear Chris in there. Oh, so let me go. Oh, that's me. I'm still laughing. After 30 minutes of non-stop laughing, Martha that's me narrating. There it is! <laughs> That's the credits list. Do we see it? Fishy fried as Garnef. This is the role of the century. <laughs> Look at this diverse soundtrack! <laughs> the only time a Fire Emblem music thing played is during the credits. I still can't believe none of them have figured out that I'm the one who keeps pissing in their cereals every breakfast. <laughs> oh, and that's the video. That's the one that- that's- that's our- the video that me and my friend made. It would just happen to be the next video. Oh my god! It was so long ago, it's 720p! We're not watching it, we're not watching it. <laughs> it's- it's a little bit cringe to watch it in this day and age. But Geb... Geb is, uh... Hang on, let me let me make sure that no inappropriate photos show up for Geb first. Okay, here we go. This is Geb. That's why the uh, the, uh, the reason why he's one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters is because I think people are so afraid of making a genuinely ugly ass character, and I just think Sacred Stones knocked it out of the park with this guy, because he there's nothing redeemable about him. He is the worst. Hang on, let me let me auto the next part and I'll show you another video. The this whole Geb thing went way too far. Oh, we have one more. Perfect. Then we can do the Pokemon event. I ain't reading fuck that. But I'm glad y'all y'all enjoyed it. <laughs> Geb is never gonna be in the Choose Your Legends. There's no way. Oh shit! What did they just give me? Okay, thanks. I ain't reading. Bye. Uh, okay. 
Okay, hang on. Turn the game volume back on. This is double speed. Okay, so you're not gonna watch this video, but I'm just gonna. I will stand on. Oh, this is so old. It's like cringe to watch things that are. It's over five years ago. It's just, it's just so old. I haven't watched it in years because it's, it, it's a little bit cringe after a certain point. Um. Hang on, hang on, let me see. Dang, there's nothing here for me. God damn. Um, hunt. Um, I'm not even reading what these do anymore. Hurry up, let's go. I'm gonna find the Geb thing that we made. I I just memed Geb so hard that we incorporated it into our videos too. These videos take forever to make. Never. Ooh. Okay. Never underestimate content creators. Holy crap, they work so hard. Do these do the same thing? Oh no, this is the blessing. Okay. Ooh, I already have everything. Oh, that's awkward. Well, let's see. No, blah, 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 blah. Already money maxed out. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay. So my Fire Emblem channel is called Fishy Emblem. And the reason why it's called Fishy Emblem is because I'm fishy fried. And my friend, um... Ikaru's, her name is M. So get it, fishy emblem. Among the it was really of cute. Illusions of the past. Uh, let me see. Uh, what video had the Geb thing? We'll watch it. I didn't voice in a lot of these anymore because um, I it was we had open auditions and I didn't want to like hog everything. Ooh, let's see if there's anything nice in this little. Yeah, we'll just keep enhancing it. I don't give a shit. Let's do it. Rest, but yeah, that's all there is. How many videos do I have to show? Ooh, plus three? Why not? I'll do it. What else can you give me? Oh, I already have everything. Special store. What do you have for me? Herda. Erda. Erda Berda. Ooh, enhance even more? Sure. Oh, okay. I think that's all I got. Oh, god damn. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm gonna do it anyway, but it just feels like it's a lot. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Can we bring these two together? Can we bring these three together? Come closer, come closer. Come closer, come closer. Oh shit! Whatever, they're connected now anyway. Um, okay, let me see. Where is that video? <laughs> Was it funny? Chinese broke you? <laughs> this is double speed. Molly you. Yeah, I'm Molly you. Um, let me see. You're just upgraded to infinity? Uh oh. Which video was the Gab meme? I don't even know where it is anymore. Hmm. Which one was it? This one? We're gonna do a little perusal through all of them. Just cause we can. Um, I don't really care what these do. Hunt. I saw the keyword. Am I at the boss yet? Did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Let's do that. Um, where's the hunt one? Here we go. Hi. Okay. Ugh, there's more. Alright, let me see. Um, da, 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 where's the video? Creations. Oh, thank you, Austin. 
This was really old. Five years, five years ago. Because I recorded those a video when I first started voice acting. So it's, it's it was Disappear pretty rough. Among the sea of butterflies. The, um, of the past. Something fun is that when you go back and look at these older videos or older content and you see the cast list and you're reminded how different everybody's lives turned out to be. Because some people kept voice acting as a fan thing. Some people went on to pursue it professionally and it's just very different. It puts life into perspective. Same thing with going to Singapore. It makes you realize how small the world is. Or sorry, it makes you realize how big the world is. Because I don't travel much, so for me it was like, damn, there's all these people out there to meet. All these places to be. Oh, I'm poor again. Plus seven. I didn't make it very far on that, huh? Alright, let's see if we can... Um... One more hunt? Yeah, plus eight. I think this might be the max I can get to. I think. Alright, yeah, that's the max. Oh, I hate this boss. This boss is the worst. Okay. Auto time! Put this on mute. Let me show my screen so that y'all can see it. Y'all can see it. Let's see it is pretty far. Oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. I think this was the main one. Did anybody play Genealogy of the Holy War? Maybe not. This is old. Thank you, Moonji, for the reset. Her love is my strength. I will do what's right. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cringe, Glory actually. To the fatherland. Kind of cringe. For a brighter tomorrow. Way to scroll through. Um, do we know anybody in here? Who voice this one? Today is just not your day. Yeah, some of these are cringe. Hang on. The dialogue parts are a lot better. Eldigan, please! Lay down your sword! I don't want to fight you. I still have every Voice intention of returning Augustine to Chagall. Put into the quality of this All I need is a caliber. little more time, I swear! This is really weird. Sigurd, never did I His suspect our blades beautiful. would someday cross. Yet, we are knights. This was always our fate. Draw, Sigurd! So long as I wield the demon blade mistletane, I won't be the one to fall this day! Oh my god, his voice actor was like one of my really good friends and I we just stopped talking and it wasn't any bitter feelings. It was just we went different paths and it's so oh shit. Watching this shit gets you real nostalgic, man. I need to connect with friends that I really genuinely like outside of voice acting. I can't just be voice acting. I need to distance myself from voice acting. I get so obsessed. I need I need to reconnect with old friends. But yeah, he his voice is buttery smooth. I love working with him. I just love this person so much. I cast him in every single one of my little Fire Emblem fan projects. Where's my other one? This one was really good too. Tom, oh, this is the guy I play Final 14 with. Final Fantasy, Final 14. Final Fantasy 14 with. He voices this guy. <laughs> You're far too late, Doesn't he girl. sound just so evil? Eldigan is already long dead. You, you pig. You butchered my brother! You will not get away with this! No forgiveness! How do you stand upright with no spine? That was so you long. Could never compare. That was so get long. Out of my sight! Okay, hang on. Let me let me do the next boss battle real quick and then we'll continue watching random shit. Is this is this is just auto. I don't know what you want me to do. That's your content, y'all. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to mute. Sorry. Let me see. Um. Yes, yeah, some of these are cringe as hell. Let me see if I can find the one that me and my friend did. I don't think there's any voice actors in here that y'all would know. Oh, this one's pretty good too. <laughs> Look who's come crawling back. My dear sister-in-law's idiot son has returned at last. Hello, uncle. Time for you to die. After all, Celeste needs its future. Everyone else needs all the crits. 
I don't know why it's so cringe for me. For who? Which one was mine? I'm in here somewhere. I remember being really angry for this one. So what happens is these two fight. These two fight. And then these graphics were so bad back in the day. Oh my god. <clears throat> so Anand, Anand, she's the older sister and this person kills her. Anand, only you would be so foolish as to insist on following your queen to her inevitable grave. The only fool here is you, Pamela. You're so set on your fate. Very well. All I can do for you now is give you a last honorable duel befitting a Celestian knight. So she dies. And we made sure in the video, I don't know why the crit lines are so cringe for me to listen to now, because these are so old, but she dies here. And we, we, we recorded this footage to make sure she actually dies, because she canonically dies in game. This is technically a spoiler, but this game came out in 1995, so I don't know what you want me to do. And so... <coughs> the next one is Ernie's. Prepare! And she is the younger sister of the woman who actually dies. So this is after her sister has passed and she's exacting yourself. revenge. You're about to join your dear departed sister! Pamela! Pamela! What you did to Anand is unforgivable! Yeah, holy shit. We went ham on that crab. I don't- I, I genuinely don't know if I can do better than what we had there. But yeah, she's- she's really cool. And then we had her- we had her kill- kill the thing. Eternal is my theory! We had her kill her. Hey, Justice! But yeah, we did that- that was really fun. Oh, I think this one was pretty good too. What else was there? I think if y'all would know anybody that we cast for this. Who do we cast for Quan? So long as oh, I John Patnode. He's one of the play- oh, I don't- actually, I'm not gonna out him so that- because I think everybody used stage names for this. Oh, this one was really good too. So this is the infamous scene in Fire Emblem 4 where everybody gets barbecued. God, these graphics. Sigurd of Chalfi. I hereby sentence you to death for your crimes of treason. His majesty will not be seeing you. Today or ever. What? What are you talking about, Lord Arvis? <laughs> You're only realizing now. You're far too naive, Sigurd. Need I remind you that you and your father still sought to usurp the throne and plotted against the crown? Nothing has changed. It is my duty to exact justice upon you in the name of my wife, Princess Deirdre. So the reason why FE4 is really fucked up and will never get a remake is because Princess Deirdre is actually his wife. I trust you understand, And there's incest in this game. A lot of it. Princess Deirdre! That... No. Fire Emblem is just... It can't be enough. We don't talk about this. I grew weary of your ravings. Attention, men! We no longer have any use for keeping the traitors alive. Move in on Sigurd and his party. The time to serve them their punishment has come! That oh, horse was so good. You dastard! That could have gone harder, but I liked it. Considering how old it was... And you got like really shitty graphics now. Do we have any memes back here? Oh yeah, here we go! So he does his all thing, and then... This is the canonic end screen, and we put the kazoo music in there. Well shit, Uh. <laughs> yeah, we made these videos for the anniversary. I just want to hear that one more time because I truly don't think I can go that hard again. Like I know this was done five years ago, but this was this was some good ass shit. Prepare yourself. You're about to join your dear departed sister, Pamela. Pamela. What you did to Anand is unforgivable! Damn. Because if you look at her art, her win the, the art that we used for this, like this is the official card game that Fire Emblem have. It's since been canceled. It's dead now. But her art was so angry. I just felt like we had to 
include that. What other videos did we have that was funny? That was our most recent one. And then we have this one too. The auto is still running. I promise I'm not distracted. We have a meme here. Oh, I think this is a meme. Okay, hey. Okay. We had we had a guy sing a meme. <laughs> oh man in this one, I cast myself too, but I cast myself as... So Lynn has a potential marriage with Raph, and they can have a daughter named Sue together. And I cast myself as Sue. She's this girl. I'm not going to play it because it's kind of cringe, but there's one dialogue that we did that is to this day one of my proudest proudest works I've put out is... um We... So all of this is manufactured. Like, only, only the, the, the gameplay is official. And we added different theme songs in for this final battle scene to make it look really fucking cool. You have come. <laughs> How ironic. The voice acting was so good for a fan project. In my path. Zephyr, King of Burn. I will ask you this. Why did you start this war? Jealousy, so good. hatred, greed. Friends and family have driven to murder one another by these petty emotions. We adjusted Such the speech. Such emotions spawn fathers the who would even kill the their the own blood. Oh, long... sorry to pause it. But we also rewrote the line because the actual dialogue in the game for this part is so fucking long. As humans control, as long as humans dictate, as long as humans exist, this madness will never end. But look at what you are doing! You've become exactly that which you despise! Mistakes cannot be left uncorrected. I will return the world to the dragons. I will liberate it from the gnarled grasp of man. The slate will be wiped clean. History will be rewritten. It is the only way to free the world from everlasting agony! Oh my god, that was such a good line. I will remake this wretched world! He's so good! The age of mankind ends now! Dragons shall rule a lead! The hour of judgment and has And the beauty arrived. of this scene... ...is he's gonna attack Roy with his crit. But it's only gonna reach one HP. And then do you hear the music transition? I cannot agree that such a world would be for the better good. I have faith in mankind. I will not lose to a man who has lost faith in people and even in himself. Do you hear the music transition? So my loved ones may smile again. I'll see this through till the end. Fan the flames of past. The Binding Blade shall seal evil once more! Also, do you know how hard it is to get Roy to one-shot even with hacks? Because he's so goddamn weak. But yeah, that was really good. That was one of my favorite scenes ever. Anyway, that was Fire Emblem. These are voice actors that are so fucking good. And I feel like they just never got the recognition that they deserved. Ugh. <sighs> I always sigh because sometimes fan projects, they're obviously not official, but so well done. So well done. I made it. I'm, I'm like complimenting myself, but you, you, you get what I mean, right? You get what I mean. <coughs> okay, are we done? Is that over now? That took forever. 47. Woo. Jeez. Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I won't take this one. 
When is okay? I still have some time before the patch drops. What? What do you want? Why is there notification? This is just that. Okay, I get it. Go away. All right, Pokemon. God damn. We'll do a little bit of Pokemon because it's already been three and a half hours. Um, ba -da -ba -da. which one's Pokemon Ethereum Wars? At least I'm gonna start it so we can do the story together, and then I'll probably try to do some on my own. Okay, game music is back on. But yeah, no. <sighs> Love Fire Emblem, y'all. If every... No, never mind. I'm not gonna get myself in trouble and say some dumb shit. Um... Hurry up. Why are so many notifications? Alright, Ethereum War. Yarilo. Wario. Three days. How much story is there? Is it fully voiced or not? That uniform. Was it him that texted you? Is it the IPC again? What? What? Huh? 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 I knew you'd come. Did I click the wrong thing? Come on, let's chat about Ethereum Wars. I've been playing it for 18 years, so ask me Are they all voiced or no? I'll tell you everything I know. The copy. How'd you get my number? Uh, <laughs> More importantly. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, do we have to start an interrogation right now? I know the IPC aren't exactly our friends, but that's not just his fault. Yeah! Can you give us an overview? Yeah, what's going on? Why, what is this? Pleasure. Everyone calls this Pokemon, I but I don't Ethereum actually know why it's day. like Pokemon. Zeal's in it? Wars. The name says I'm all. in it? It's a collective is it voice? Game that uses I don't remember me. I don't remember being in it. Ether coins are what you use to play. Using an ether coin, players can store creatures they've encountered in the form of an ether. Oh, that's why it's like Pokemon. As ether spirits to battle against other players. Collect, battle, train, and upgrade. That's Ethereum War's motto. I never expected the corporation to know anything about ether copying tech. I thought that was something only punk lordy and hackers could handle. <laughs> You're right. The technology itself originated from punk lord. But with the relentless efforts of the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild, we've also gained a basic understanding of you how to say ether. Same words. We might not be able to manipulate the data of reality as easily as those hackers can, but we're not far behind. I think it'd be better if the IPC avoided it. It sounds pretty dangerous. Oh, there's references? Uh, you mentioned something about the Interastral Tournament Festival? What is You're that? You're at the end? And oh, what? Great question! The festival is actually a tournament organized by the Ethereum Wars Gaming Association at the end of each season and is open to players from across the universe. Across the universe. Gamers will come together to relax. You're in it a tiny bit? I am? Playing the game. I don't remember this at all. However, due to Stellaron flocking interstellar routes, the festival was changed to online. Oh, you were at the end. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Nevertheless, for those who insist on attending in person, our offline venue is still open to them. Sounds like the association really cares about their players. I don't remember this. Oh, jeez. That's right. Any idea where we can get- oh, I can't believe- I finally managed to successfully promote the game! Uh, is it- What a loser. Difficult? Oh, wait, does this- Alright, we'll play your card I swear, game. There's no time to wait. But we gotta hurry, because we only got a few days oh, left. The atmosphere here is so different now. It's so lively. <laughs> so you Where are you going? Where are you going? The corporation Look recently at the kids. The Bellbug has food and this economy. Take a look. This is where the International Tournament Festival will be held this year. This is where Topaz committed. The Ethereum Wars Gaming Association specifically chose this planet to help rejuvenate it and bring it up to date with the latest trends. Oh, that. Good, good. Every 
everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Who's that? Whose voice Mr. is that? Giovanni, is that you? Ahem. <clears throat> <laughs> Wilder! I was just wondering where you've gone to. Whose voice is it? Oh, and you familiar? brought along two beautiful young ladies. Welcome to my arena. What a nice scumbag if I'm voice. Not mistaken, that he's putting on for this character. Right. So I presume you two have heard about the I International presume. Tournament Festival. Have you come to show off your skills? <laughs> oh, psst. Look at his mask. Pretty cool, don't you think? Uh, you old mask face. <laughs> Look at me, forgetting my manners. I don't think it's Satori's voice actor. My actor. name is Giovanni de Giorgio de Epsilon. But what the hell? A private trader from Epsilon and the sole sponsor of this year's No, it doesn't sound like Mick Winger. Festival. The energy is there, though. If there's and he looks like... Oh, I get it what you mean now. You. He does look don't like Satori. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, it might be Victor Jason Marno Marno Marnocha. Something, something. You seem like a pretty important person. What brings you to this kind of place? Yeah. What brings oh, you, you here? You truly live up to your reputation as the saviors of Bellabog. <laughs> Such keen insights. Now, let me answer Miss March's question. As you can see, the Interastral Tournament Festival is about to be held on this How long is... Planet. And as the soul spot furthermore... Well, we're gonna we start skipping because yeah, we need to rush that? these. Uh, I believe what... Don't worry, what... I just want to get to the part where Howard talks and then I'm gonna do my own. Feel free to ask me about the Interastral Tournament Festival. It's hotter, Presto. I feel like you're up saying... Actually, nope. you've been explaining a lot about the venue. Why, of Actually, give it a go. Not a blah, 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 blah. I'm going to speedrun this because, uh, we gotta, we gotta go. Is that Julian? Hand over that coal. Hand over that coal. You little brat. Who said you could touch this? Was that James from Pokemon? <sighs> but this is mine. That's Eric. I found it on the ground. Hey, that's enough. Picking on a kid, are we? Uh, outworlder lady. Careful! They're dangerous! Don't sweat it. Leave them to us. I say, my IPC friends. I oh, this, he did a great job voicing the sky. Am I right in assuming that you're also Ethereum Wars players? <laughs> Where did that masked dude come from? And what does it have to do with you, whether I'm a player or not? Exactly! What's it to you? Sneaking around with a mask on? You must be some kind of creep! Is that Howard? <laughs> what I'm getting James? at is this. Since you're both players, why not have a showdown to settle? But instead of this young boy, if they lose, the coin Speak will Speak again, not you. Yours. Go away, go away. And you can do But if you lose... Stop talking, let me I hear the, the, the Team Rocket guys. accept defeat. I don't hear Jesse very well. Sure. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Here are a few beginner level ether spirits. Oh, you can't skip through and on. If you have trouble handling these beginner and spirits, Star anymore? it might indicate that this game isn't the best choice for you. <laughs> You've got some nerve. I don't. Yeah, I'm not hearing Jesse, but I hear James. Prepare to face the might of Topaz's support squad! Did they just have Howard on speed dial to do bits every single patch? Oh. Huh? What? What this? Nani? What the hell was that voiceover? This music! Oh! I'm- I'm a- I'm a thingy. Oh. 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 
Oh, oh, oh. Is there types? Oh, there is types. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Ooh, I have all two? No fucking way. What the heck is this? What the heck? Okay, so I need to be the green one. I'm not the green one, though. Your character's a humanoid. Oh. Oh, okay, so I, we attack this one. And if it bounces, it bounces. Interesting. Interesting. This is very cool. Ah. Ah, there's a whole event like this where you're just fighting. Oh, do we have to catch Pokemon or catch monsters too? We sure Pocket the monsters? Uh, here we go. So <laughs> oh, it's a badge! The appearance of the court. Didn't they mention something else? Pass to? Topaz? Yeah, they mentioned Miss Topaz. Oh, I know. Uh, they said they were members of Miss Topaz's to? support squad. Uh huh? Would Miss Topaz to? stoop so low? I think there must be some kind of misunderstanding. I have had some interactions with Miss Topaz and oh, this... Oh fuck, I missed it. I Indeed. I if I missed I it, we're not doing it for the rest. It's too much work. Uh, hey, have I... I bet you... I see... <laughs> I have... It settled... It settled in. Uh, he just... Oh, no need to work. Now... Oh, you're right! I'm not reading. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh-huh. Oh, it's our Pikachu! Uh -huh. Use Tackle! <laughs> boink, boink, boink. It would be better. Uh, it's too low level to use tackle. No. Is that what you're telling me right now? Uh, no way. I, uh, all right. Do we get a D-team too? I'll lend you an Extra brain cell. Let's call it. Oh, let's call it puffball or bubbles. I like bubbles. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to try something different? Um. No. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. Oh, look, look. Oh, they didn't say the, the they didn't say the name. Of course, it'd be even better if we could unravel the mystery of your. We don't care about your power. Let's go. Oh, uh, come on, stop buying. Let me rephrase it, guys. Let's go and win that tournament together. Happy? <laughs> well, isn't this a? So weird. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's people here. Cool, cool. So let me let me catch one. This I just want to see how it works. Is the Ethereum Wars terminal? Okay, okay. Oh, what is this? Okay, okay. Um, championship. So these are the gyms, maybe. Challenging the victory zone. Blah 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 blah. This is the event. Blah blah. blah time after. Okay. Oh, okay. We're not doing this right now. Yeah, we're do we're starting. It's super late. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of complicated. We didn't really read. Participate in the tournament championship. Speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run, okay. speed run, speed run, speed run. I don't have time for this. I'm gonna say we don't have time for this, and then we're gonna do it, and we're not gonna have any, 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 any time to figure this out. Uh, this is it. The Shit. entrance to the corridor of Fading Echoes Victory Zone. Uh. I just looked up some tips on the interastral network. No, 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 no. Victory zones are leading no, 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 no. Oh, these are words to me. I can't wait. Hey, look, it's Mr. Giovanni. Giovanni, just give me the reward. Mr. Giovanni. I didn't expect this of you so soon. Am I correct? In case collecting the sins. Ah. I feel like that's what's gonna happen if I play Genshin. It's just gonna be me trying to speed through everything because I'm so far behind. What is this? Character menu? Oh! My Pikachu! My... I don't know what the fuck you are. Should I level up my Pikachu? Or my Blaze out of space? Can we rename him? Oh, that's fucked up. Alright. How do we catch it? Oh, that's hilarious, actually. 
Oh, this music. Oh, you can auto this too? Sheesh. Is there any more story to this or is it the rest just gameplay? If it's just gameplay from this point out, then I'll just do it on my own. I thought there was more story to it than that. God damn, this music's good as hell. A lot more story? Oh no. It looks like you're I strongly suggest better gather more roaming Oh, okay. Oh. How interesting. And they just a silver main guard is in my party as my Pokemon? That's hilarious. How long do you how long will it take for me to get to the fun story? Like how much time is that gonna take? Because if it's anything more than an an hour, we're not doing it tonight for sure. We're probably not gonna do it tonight anyway, because I'm super tired already. But it would be kind of interesting to get the part that I voice it, if I do voice it. Imaginary Weaver. Huh. Yuri, hello! Good to see you around. We're testing out the fish. Um, I We've gotten some increase on whether or not we're interested in VTubing and... That might be too much of a commitment right now, but, you know, the fish, it flops. It do be flopping today, so uh, we're, we're testing it out. I think he's kind of cute. An extension of my own. Uh, probably two hours of use. Oh, hell no, we ain't doing it tonight then. Uh-uh, wait, is that the end? Fuck you, Bellabog and all your... Wait, what is that? Oh, that's- that's hilarious. What is she holding? Oh, nothing. It's just like a beam of light. What do you mean? You don't like my fish? Look at it flop. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? There's nothing- I might- maybe I'll use it again. Oh. Wait, is this like Victory Road or something? It's not the most expressive model, like I said. But we're working on... We're not working on shit, actually, but you know what I mean. I did commission an artist um, to make me a... What the... Where, where do you want me to... Oh, follow the blue mark. That could be helpful. Let me see. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, Molly. Guess what? I wasn't able to high in the airport, but I am going to the con in Fresno to meet you along with Emily. Oh, okay. Anna Ginoba, happy Molos, heart, Emily's son, Espion, love. Oh, excellent. I'll see you at Fresno then. Yeah, so Emily and I will be in Fresno for anime... Anime con... I don't, I don't remember the con name. We just, we, we, we've just been calling it Fresno. But it's in Fresno, California. Emily and I will be there. Anjali, the voice of Dory and Sushang will be there. What did I just do? Pfft. Not pay attention to that at all. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, oh my god, that's hilarious. Can we catch his Pokemon? Dang, that sucks. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know, for for all that Honkai does, they definitely do their events very fun. Oh my god, these Pokemon are busted. Is there a Fresyes? Of course, it's your country. We'll go to we'll go to Fresyes after we go to Fresno. I like this. Well, I know the event's really long, but. Huh. Oh, Anime Gaming Con, that's what it's called. Yeah. The the California cons I think will be pretty small. The one I'm really excited for is Anime Dallas in a couple of weeks. That one will be very fun. This is the level two cata caterpillar. Wait, cata cata caterpie that you fight. 
We can evolve already? No fucking way. No. Oh, no. She's level up. Never mind. I thought we could evolve. Wait, can you evolve? Can you evolve in this game? No way. That's too much. That's too much. Oh, darn. I feel like, does my giant robot evolve into the Evangelion robot? Hey, everyone's here. Oh, <gasps> Servo! I love you, Natalie. Two great heroes our way. I love you, Natalie. Servo, Pela. Has it really been that long? It's great to see you, too. Oh, Zampi. Behold. Two oh. championship contenders. Giovanni's voice like jump scared me. It seems the stage is set for some intense competition. Huh? Servals the championship contender for this victory zone? Oh, so Servals the first <laughs> gym leader. We got our act together. Why is Luca here? What? What are you doing here? <laughs> Still got the sense of humor, huh? It's been a while, outsider. Oh, it's done! Get away with it this time. Oh my god, everybody is back for this event. So is this game already popular in Bellabog? Yeah, but I guess no one in Bellabog had much of a clue about video games before the IPC showed up. I gotta say, Ethereum Wars is really fun. I've been grinding for several days straight. Barely even had time to eat. <laughs> I wish you'd put the same effort into other things. Oh! So, Miss Serval, Miss Pela, how are you feeling? Have you gotten the Christ custom your body the title so... of championship contender? How are you feeling? Totally used to it. Pela and I have already struck fear into the hearts of more than a few. I don't want to fight her. Can we just join Should her we team? Really be bragging about? I like her a lot. I don't want to fight her. <laughs> It's good that you've gotten used to it. My buddy, my Entrusting pal. Entrusting the victory zone to the two of you was the right decision. Since you're all here, how about we let Miss Serval and Miss Pela, our championship contenders, explain the rules to everyone? No problem. The rules are actually quite simple. To start with, I've made some minor tweaks to the snowshine lamps, making okay. it just Okay, we have to jump through these. Experience is it's too much. I know it's her gym gym challenge thingy though. All right, we're not reading. Let's go. Huh? Oh. Wait, huh? Okay, I should have read. Wait, no, we're fine. We don't need to read. Ooh. Bro, let me in. Do I need to go hey, back? Where are you going? <coughs> Let me in! Let me in! Oh, you push it. Wait, no, wait. Oh, oh, wait. I don't understand. Oh, okay, never mind. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. You see? Are you a fish now? Yes, of course. Of course. Of Do you love it? Do you love it? You'll Do you love it? Do you like love it? I flop. I flop. All of them. But, mm. of course. Speed run, speed run. Let's go, let's go. I don't got time to read. Looking at the soon to be Aether. Are you serious? Let's put it out the list. Jeez, did you join the anti <laughs> There are three thermic. Oh god, this is too slow. Now that's exactly Walk me faster. Please excuse Thank you, Miss. Let's get moved. The head exercise. Oh my god. You gotta like really over exaggerate your movements to make the VTuber model move. Make the trial. Uh oh, what do I do? Uh oh, I'm stuck. What is this? Complete the trial in the in the current area. Um uh, take a look. It looks like there's a lamp behind that. Uh, there should be. Do a do a Zila meme that's like Woman want me, fish fear me. No wait. Fish fear me, woman wait, how does the meme go? I can't remember anymore. Uh a treasure, don't I I do. These are in fact Pokemon puzzles. You are right. Oh, but now I need to push.
this over here. Oh, okay. It is a VTuber. It is a VTuber model, though. It is. It is a live 2D model that you can control. It's just not a fancy anime girl that you're used to. What is it? Woman fear me, fish am me. <laughs> Woman want me, fish fear me. Yeah, 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 that one. Oh, whoopsies. Let's see, where to? There's not much st story. We might just call it here. Oh, wait, I can't go that way. How do I get up there? What are you trying to make me do? Uh, seriously? God, we still have to do Memory of Chaos this week. Oh, my god. Maybe those are all things I'll have to do off screen just to speed run it because those are going to take way too long. Oh, I have to fight? Can I catch it? If we catch duplicate Pokemon, can we merge them? Character interactions. Zealots at the very end, you said? Huh. Maybe I will stream Sunday night and just the last deal interaction I don't know we'll see we'll see no merging no merging in a gotcha Z <laughs> that's funny eel C eel <laughs> imagine the streams like 20 minutes long what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean no way no way oh hey hey dude hmm? And you are victory, victory zone. zone. It's a victory road. It's victory zone. Looks like you haven't bothered to light up all the. Way. It seems we won't be able to. Oh, uh, okay. He's the gatekeeper. Oh, another trainer. This is really funny. I really like how they did this event. Certainly very creative. Once you start, can you leave? Cause this, is this a special zone? Do I have to come back all the way over here again? I don't know if I want to do that. God damn. The, the dude who throws a giant volcano, he's powerful. Powerful. Okay, we're probably not gonna do all of this. Restart? I don't want to restart. Oh, it saves progress. Okay. You scared me for a second. I was like, oh no, I don't want to restart. Can raid. Is anybody playing Star Rail? There's like nobody playing. No English speakers. Um. Okay. Wait. Let me just finish this since we have one more. Ooh! Ooh! We have to fight. We don't have to fight, right? I don't really. I feel like we don't need to. Oh, is he after me? Okay, no, no. Uh... Oh shit, hang on. This way. Definitely feels like a Pokemon puzzle. Ah, ha ha. Saves your progress. So when I spawn in, do I spawn where I left off or like location wise I'll be at the exact That's same point too? Come on, let's go find the next one. Um so. Uh oh. Next trial. Where is the next trial? Oop, I keep doing that. Nah, these puzzles are different. They're not very... Because I can't even catch another Pokemon, so I don't see the point in fighting him. Unless... Is there any benefit to fighting him? I don't think so. We'll finish this and call it a day. Uh, isn't this lamp a little too obvious? It's like it's just begging I was like, where's my it? phone? But I'm using my phone there to do the motion capture for this fish shit. Somewhere. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Let me check my email. Oh, this music. Oh, okay. There's. Oh my god! 
Why are you doing this to me? Where does it need to go? Where's the lamp? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I thought I could go back one more. How do we reset this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, uh-oh. It's irredeemable now. Uh-oh, <coughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did I- did I leave right? Or did I fuck that up? Oh no. That's, there's still a billion areas. Oh, okay, cool. It takes you back here. Oh, I just had an idea. Maybe we could try making this gear bridge rotate. Oh, you can? Oh wait, no it doesn't. What are you talking about? Gear bridge rotate. I don't think Oh, it's over there. Will that actually help? Cuz it's already really close to the lamp. Wait, no, is that not a lamp? That's a lamp, right? This could so. I don't think you need to rotate. Um. This needs to be pushed out. Um. Pushed. Oh, fuck. I fucked it up again. Oh, like no, we fucked it up again. Cause I need this to be over. How far back does it need to go? Oh no, I fucked. No. How far does it need to go, though? Maybe like all does it need to go all the way to the left? I. Oh yeah, I does work. How far back does it need to go? I'm so sleepy. Um Maybe like instead of this shit. This shit out of the way. And we'll just Ooh. No, how far back does it oh. Shit, it still needs to go more? One more, please! Damn it, one more! Fuck you, game. Let me go to bed! The worst! Wait, 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 Oh fuck, I fucked it up. No! Um, oh, did I fuck up? Oh fuck. Yeah, I fucked up again. It's just like one more. <laughs> one more. Does it have to be in this spot? Here? <clears throat> Is it one more forward? I mean, the chest is fine, but I'm trying to clear the puzzle right now. We can grab it, but does it, <laughs> does it matter if I grab it now or later? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh Oh wait, but then I blocked it back here. I need to move this one back and then I can move it up there. Bit.
and down. Over here. What do you do again? I don't remember any. Uh, uh oh, did I fuck last time? No, I think it's okay. Fuck! God damn! Wait, it worked! Oh, I thought it had to be this one. But it could have been that one? That's dumb. Now I'm trapped here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Wait, <laughs> what happens now? <laughs> can I, can I, can I reset? Is it gonna reset my little thingy ma bobber? Okay, so it works. Is that an enemy? Oh. Why is he that color? Oh, oh, he was a trainer! I was so confused. Sleeping through this. After this, I'm going to bed for sure, for sure. Schedule ever since I got back from Singapore has been mostly fixed, so we're not gonna mess it up with streaming anymore. You hear me? Not not anymore. Where we're formed now. We end. We end when we need to. Last things like before we end. Oh. Why is there more of these? Stop giving me shit to click. Oh. Okay, hang on. Let's do the satisfaction soon. Wait. Oh, there it is. All right, we'll do this first. Um. Oh. Um. Um. Hang on. No, no one, no one can see this. My my age is a secret. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the story was fun. I didn't do anything else, so I really- I feel like I can't make an opinion. He's cool. I don't really like Topaz super much. He's cute. Uh, oh yeah, she's hot. Oh, very satisfied. I only like, killed it. She's OP as bitch. She's Barrel Master. Yeah, we love her in this sh What? Oh. Yeah, we like her. She's just okay. I don't think she's hot hot, but she's definitely hot. Um, she's okay. Excellent voiceover. I don't really care. Girl. Um, I haven't used her, but she's cute. I like her a lot, cute wise. Oh, wait, wait. Character design, I don't know, because I haven't used her. Character visual, she's very cute. Voiceover, excellent, I'm sure. Haven't used her, haven't used her. Um, I can't answer this because I just started. I mean, I liked it. It was a good auto auto event for us to to watch videos with. Um, I was trying to compliment her any way I could because if y'all were here for my one point four playthrough, I did not care for this character. I called her colonist the entire time, and then I got worried I was gonna get canceled for calling her name, so I deleted the vod. Uh, how has your experience with the current trailblazers in the future market? Um, I experienced it, but it felt kind of... I liked it, I just didn't like how inconsistent the Bellabog characters felt, where they were suddenly willing to give up their nation to work for the tax people out of nowhere. 
That one was really weird. I don't think there was any mission experience I cared about. Yeah, just because I'm technically working on this game, I probably shouldn't shit on characters that much, that I, the characters I don't like. But, yeah, she's not my favorite. I'm still going to be honest and, and say I don't like a character, but I'm not going to go ham going on why I don't like the character. That's too much work. Automaton Stealth Bomb? I don't even remember it. <laughs> Clouds leave no trace? Huh? What was this one? I don't remember this one at all. What was this one? Uh... Uh, was it like the stealth bomb? I I experienced it, I'm sure, because I finished the Trailblaze Continuance, but I don't remember it. Neutral. <laughs> Whoa, companion mission. Oh, wait, we didn't do the companion mission. <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. I thought it was Trailblaze Continuance. This was cool. I like this one. Oh yeah, this one was really cool too. It was an empty ass map, but the design was cool. I want the I want to encourage them to make more of these. Uh, yeah, it was cool. There wasn't really much of a route though. I don't think so. At least there wasn't really that much to explore either. Yeah, these are all very not explorey kind of things. It looked cool. I just didn't really have much to explore. I don't care about this. I didn't pull it. Um, cool. I don't know the backstory. I think it's strong. I don't know. Uh, oh, I didn't do them. <laughs> I just didn't do them. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's too much work. <laughs> All right. Um, please. <laughs> Is this too biased? Is this too biased? Everybody, do your 1.4 trailblade or do your 1.4 satisfaction survey and write to bring back Zila, okay? Please and thank you. Don't just bring her back. Give her some voice acting lines, please. She's desperate. She's dying. Yeah, money, 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 money. Yeah. Well, I do like that. No, get out of here. We don't need you. Wait. Whatever. And that's all the exclamations. It's my turn o'clock. You got it. Yeah, so anybody who has not pulled Zila yet... One! What are you waiting for? Or where the heck? Where's the wishes? One! What are you waiting for? Two! There's still four days left. Put her in. Put her in. Why are you pulling for Topaz? Why are you playing for Topaz when Zila's right here? What meme do Topaz got? It's not even Topaz. You're pulling for the pig. Topaz won't even do anything. Pull for Zila. Pull for Zila. This is your propaganda. Pull for Zila. Topaz? Otaz? Who? We don't know her. We only know Numbi. And Numbi's like cool, but is she Zila? Is she Zila? I don't know what gender the Numbi is. Are they Zila? Does Numbi disappear among the sea of butterflies? I didn't think so. So, I'm just saying, if you know, if you have taste, this is the one. Numbi cute? Yeah, well, fuck that. Zeal's butterflies are cuter. That. Look at 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 that. No. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Instead of raiding someone today because everyone's asleep and not aligned, pick one good thing to say about Zila, and that will be our goodbye message to each other for the night. <laughs> the lightning do be jazzy and groovy in Zila's art. Yeah, I don't know what this is. She's got a lot, a lot of stuff going on. It's okay, we love her. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for coming back. Or come into the stream for the day I came back. Um, well, I, I, I've been back for two weeks. I just got sick. And so, thanks for everybody dealing with my coughing. 
Uh, wait, where's the coughing emote? Hang on. Drop the coughing emote real quick. Where is it? Uh, oh, I need to start making more emotes. God damn. There it is, the coughing emote. Hell yeah, there it is. But, yeah. Next week, starting next week, we'll resume back to the regular streams. Hopefully I get my cough out of here so that we're not coughing so much. Some final fish floppies for you on screen to look at and enjoy. Because I don't know if I'm going to use the fish for the next one. Do y'all prefer having the fish to stare at while I'm playing a game? Or do you prefer the Zilla static image? I just thought this would be more interesting than the static image. It's not the most expressive model, but you know, it's it's still... There are movements and there are lip flaps, which I feel like is quite important. Do you prefer the fish? No fucking way. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. If there is a way to... Maybe maybe I'll I'll flip the fish around horizontally and we'll, we'll, we'll slap Zila's wig on it. Or her hair, not her wig. We'll slap her hair on the fish as a... As a as a thing, I don't think I can edit the model. It have to be it have to be like a static image, and then like every time I flop, the hair just remains in place. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. But yes, butterfly model. I do have I have commissioned somebody for a chibi HSR model, but I think I'm not. I'm on the wait list for quite some more time, so. It's looking like it won't be debuting until next year. Oh, all my mods spamming the links. Haha. <laughs> Thank you mods for sticking on this stream and moderating the heck out of everybody. And yes, have a good night everybody. We'll see you for the next stream. Join our Discord. We hang out on Discord a lot and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm waving, but I realize like you guys can't see me wave ever, so we're just going to Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> it, like, it looks like to you I'm just moving my head back and forth, but I'm shaking my head to make this fish turn around. So it's like kind of dizzy and uncomfortable, but there you go. That's my fish flop by Flish, fish, fish flop, good, good flop. Flop by. Ah, these all sound. Sayonara flop! Sayonara flop. Flop, flopanara! Flopanara! Yo, there we go! Good night, everybody. <laughs>